guys, how's it going? Hi. <laughs> Welcome everyone. This is my friend Patricia, also known as Kayatri. Yep. Do you want to talk a little bit about your stuff? Um, well, I do embroidery as a side business, so that's what I'm going to be teaching today on her channel. Yeah. So what I have is a very basic embroidery machine. This is the Brother SE 400, which is a pretty entry level machine. It only has a small size hoop but it's big enough to make patches and I've never done this stuff before. So I brought in my friend who is an expert at everything embroidery related and she's gonna be like walking us through how to get everything set up um, to do some basic patches. Yeah. And a little bit about our project, you can see it right over here, but this is the Wings of Freedom patch from uh, Attack on Titan. <laughs> And I had originally ordered this set that came with one of these and three of the small ones. And they just like don't match at all. They have totally different colors and kind of styles. And I thought that was really frustrating because they, they also all finished as a different set. as well. Yeah, yeah. She pointed out all kinds of differences <laughs> yeah, I that I like, didn't even notice. These are completely different. <laughs> um, so how's everything with, with volume? You guys let us know if our volume is good mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, but I think that we're okay. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, so we're going to be remaking the smaller patches to try to make them match the style and the colors, especially of this larger patch that I already have. So that's what's going on today. Yeah. And also, um, I see people here in the chat using the tap tap emote that just got approved. <laughs> um, and we finally have use of our emote. So no tap tapping today, probably, but you guys are welcome to to use that emote as much as you want. Hey Vince! <laughs> We've also got Aries making an appearance early on in the stream, walking through and crying. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hello, uh, hello Cospix, mm -hmm. aka Vince, our friend. And everybody else who's here. Yes. All these people that I recognize. Yeah, yeah. Meow, meow, that's right. You can hear him. <laughs> Okay, cool. So, what do we do first? All right. <laughs> well then, um, so we have the materials yes. right now. We're going to be using felt for the patches, and you're going to use stabilizer for the back. It's going to be the 806 at Joann's um, in the stabilizer section. Um, yes, I do know it by heart. <laughs> <laughs> Usually buy a whole bolt when they're on sale. So, we'll just um, get like, one of these uh, yeah. to start with. Give you Thank those. You. Yeah, so we just pre-cut some um, pieces of felt that are gonna be used as a base, and then the stabilizer, which it sounds, as it sounds, stabilizes the yep. stitching. And um, so we need to load these into our hoop, yeah? yes? Yes, um, and your spray as well. Right, okay, let me grab some paper. I'm gonna lay the paper down on the ground and we can spray on that. Okay. We're gonna be using a basting spray to um, kind of temporarily stick these two pieces together so that they don't move around while we're putting it in the hoop and all of that. So that's gonna happen slightly off camera, yes. but it's easy. <laughs> you don't have to do it. It's just an extra step that I like to do because that way while you're putting this into your hoop, it just doesn't move around. And I just like the extra security. I'm all about going the extra mile. I do, it's like an extra step. I'm like, yes, <laughs> that's all right. Oh yeah, and please feel free to ask any embroidery related questions. Yes, I will answer your questions. Basting spray. Okay, so this is the basting spray that we're using. This is spray and bond basting adhesive. And basting just refers to any kind of temporary hold, mm -hmm. um, like as in a basting stitch where you're doing a stitch that you intend to take out later. Um, that's just to kind of keep things from shifting around. This is the same principle. The It'll be sticky right at first and it'll stay sticky for a little while mm -hmm. and then the stickiness goes away. Yeah. Sometimes it does stay a little sticky afterwards, but I usually just use a little water and with some towel and it comes right off. Yay. So we really only spray one side, right? Yeah, you just spray the that part and then you're like, yeah. So all we just did off camera, so that we don't spray everything else, was get the sticky Thank spray. Thank you for letting me know my Twitter link is broken. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you for I appreciate that. it. It was like quick. I was like, we're on. <laughs> all right. Well, that's fine. All right. Okay, so we've got that stuck together now. Yes. 
sandwiched in so place. So now this one, this particular machine, I have two machines at home. Uh, one is a, I guess, but is a, so you top load it, which is this doesn't go like on top of this one. This one, you set this one on the bottom. That's how my machine goes. But this particular machine is oh, a top one where this smaller piece goes, lays right into it. Let's, side. Yeah, let's unhinge this. And always make sure there's like a little arrow up here. It always needs to make sure that it follows the other arrow. So you just shove that sucker in here. Halia Artisan, thank you for subscribing. And you just triggered my actual link uh, <laughs> alert that we changed that I've, I've, it used to be the zombie and I, I promised you all that I would change it back to link and now it's link. So Halia, you get to be the first person to see the link. Um, uh, Xenu Ceratops is asking, how was my SDCC? My San Diego Comic Con was so fun. I had a really great time being a squid. Um, but adorable. then I was so exhausted after being a squid for two days that I didn't do anything else and I just went home. But it was really fun. <laughs> okay, so now that you, it's kind of sometimes really hard, just make sure that you, you give it a good slack to just shove it in here. But it should sound like a drum when it's, when it's done. So then you're really good. Then you just make sure that you tighten this sucker up. All right. Now yeah. you get to load it onto your machine. Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, so I'm assuming I'm gonna lift that up, right? Yeah, so you just kind of, no, you don't need too much, yeah. And then you just Make sure lock it into that. Yep. Registered? Mm-hmm. Yep. Here we go. And you are ready to go. So what I'm gonna do off camera actually is load the software that you'll see me touch yes. here. Uh, she <laughs> helped me out by, uh, she has the software that can digitize the images and create the stitching patterns and do all of the rest of that stuff to kind of like uh, analyze the image and prepare it for becoming an actual embroidered piece. Yes. So, Without yeah. the software, you can't do a lot of elaborate things. Yes, there are built-in things you can do on certain embroidery machines, but what I do is pretty intricate, so you it's like a an extra expense that you have to buy, but it's worth it in the end. Yeah. It really if is. If you do the amount of embroidery that you do. <laughs> I do a lot of embroidery, so. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now we get to click this guy right here, and there is our... There it is. So there it is. I wonder which one this one is. This this is the one with. Oh, this is with the background. Do you want the one with the background or without the background first? Um, I think we should try it without the background okay. first. So we were debating whether or not we want this gray area to be done with embroidery stitches, or whether that will just be the gray of the felt. And now that I'm looking at them on camera, I think this looks more similar than the thread. But anyway, we're gonna try yeah. it. We're gonna, the first one that we do. Um, we're going to just use the gray of the felt as the background. Um, and then we'll stitch the other colors. And then depending on how we like that, maybe we'll consider doing it with the gray stitching, but we're kind of checking it out. Yes, the machine is plugged directly into the computer right now. Yes. Uh, into her computer. Because <laughs> I have the software on my computer. <laughs> yeah. um, so this one, I, with my embroidery machines, I usually use like little USB, put all my, soft, all my uh, digitized files and just put it directly to the machine. Um, but this one didn't have one, so I just plugged it in and it it worked just fine. I would love to know why there's like multiple threads. Uh, sometimes starting. it. So this is your actual thread. Okay. Is the other one just a broken part of the? Oh yeah. There it okay. is. There's All right. that one. All right. Awesome. Yay. <laughs> All you. right. So right now it's so there's a color check. So this particular model, um, there's a color check um, that it'll tell you what color sequence to go to. Um, so what I like to do is have them all set out in front of your machine. That way you in just, order. in order, that way you don't have to be like, oh gosh, what color is next? That's smart. So, what so like got? right now, blue is first. sky blue. So then the next so one is chrome, which is, I'm assuming is that one. Oh, oh, it shouldn't be that one. Cause yeah, that one, this one shouldn't have that color at all. Black. Is the chrome the white? Yeah. Probably, yeah. Cause it's like a shiny white. Yeah, because I put the no background, so it should work. And then the black. All right. Cool. So we'll start 
I'm gonna grab my little snakes so we can cut the bread. Um, the software that I use is the PE Design 10, that's specific for brother machines. Um, so we just load this normally? Yes. Okay. That is the software I use, Wednesday. Wendy. Doesn't have any space. That's gonna be fine though, right? It doesn't need the little guy in the Yeah, end. certain free softwares like the embroidery machine, they tend to not give you a lot of choices. Um, but if you do a lot of embroidery, I highly in recommend investing in one of the softwares. Even it doesn't have to be the newest version, which is 10. It could be the five or the six. So Okay. I am not familiar with the Singer 319. So uh, we have an embroidery needle, which is a specific kind. We also have an embroidery foot uh, that came with the machine and the rest of the setup, all everything just came with the machine um, with a really basic setup to get you started. So I've never done this before. I am 100% learning as we go. <laughs> so that's why Patricia's here, because she knows. Okay. I was trying to answer some questions. <laughs> okay, yeah, thank you, that's great. Yeah. Good evening, Ferocious attention, Intentions and Madeline. Cool. All right, so we've got blue in there. There's a, a special bobbin, it's just a pre-wound yes. embroidery bobbin that's already in there. Yeah, um, I like using the pre-wound ones because um, they're just easy. They come, I think the last one I bought was like 400 for like 20 bucks and it just, it lasts and you just change it out every time the bottom runs out. So yeah. it's just easier that way you don't waste time. So cool. All right. So now this is the fun part. <laughs> so let's see this little button. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think yours might be. No. Oh, close press that button. Yeah. Okay. All right. So okay, now so that it's green, down. yes. It's telling you that you can just push that button and it'll go. All right. I'll guys. let you do the honors. The green one? <laughs> yes. Ah! <laughs> It's going! <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be and fun. And there it goes! Oh yeah, yours is quiet. Uh, so we're gonna stop this a little bit and we're gonna trim that one. That oh, piece. trim it first yeah. before it goes very yeah. far? Okay, okay. I should probably grab my tweezers for this, but whatever. Yeah, it's okay, just enough to... Yeah. So it's, it doesn't get like trapped Yeah, underneath. because sometimes it'll all get trapped and then you have this like this weird line in your design, you're like, why is it there? But yeah, now it's, now it's going. So cool. So this will just pause it if it needs right. to. Right. So say if some like if the bobbin uh, runs out, it will tell you. It'll stop the machine. It'll say, "Please replace bobbin," and then you'll just uh, take off the hoop, replace it, and then put it back, and you'll know exactly where it is. Now, unfortunately, our camera is a little bit too high for you to see exactly what's Thanks, being stitched Felicia. right now. <laughs> <laughs> is it someone you know? Yeah. Oh, nice. Hello, Felicia. <laughs> um, but once it once we get more of this design underway, you should be able to see more of what's yeah. going on. Hopefully the volume is still good. Let us know if, if we need to move this to, yeah. to be heard over the machine. But it's not as loud as mine. <laughs> That's awesome. The tank is pretty loud. <laughs> this is kind of exciting to just let it go. Oh, what time are we at? We're at 7:19 right now. So yeah. I'm just wondering. I'm just curious to know how long it takes. It should. See, mine actually tells me how many minutes it'll take. Ah. <laughs> um, I can actually open your design and see how long it'll take. I mean, yeah, if you want to. Yeah. The machine so anyway. is kind of loud, but I can hear you guys. Okay, cool. All right. Oh yeah, um, you guys should all take a moment to go and follow her. Um, we'll put a link in the chat. If you don't mind, Kitten, just adding a link to uh, Kayatri channel and we can uh, make sure that that's spelled properly. Yes. <laughs> uh, here, actually, I can just do it myself probably. And that way everyone has an opportunity to follow her. What is it? It would be twitch.tv slash Yeah. Okay, so I just threw that in the chat. There's hers, and you can spam that link if you want to, kitten. But that one is for her. Um, she is just now getting into streaming, yes. and so we wanted to take a time. And so if you guys like watching together. stuff like this, I will set up my camera to, so you guys can watch it. We have nonstop embroidery yes. footage. So 
This is I'm like trying to move this camera just a so bit. They can actually see yeah, a little bit more. So please bear with me while I adjust <laughs> this camera setting. <laughs> I said, do you have issues with your bobbin threader on that machine? That's um no, I haven't had any uh, issues with the bobbin threader. She uses. So many more bobbins than I do. She's talking do. about just using the pre-wound ones because she goes through like hundreds and hundreds. I of do. Um, <laughs> this is so now like in my I face. I do. There's a lot of big. Not showing a lot more. Yeah. There's a lot of big projects I do that will will use about 50 bobbins, and I I can't sit there and you know wind them up for like 20 minutes so, so I can get at least a hundred of them. So I just buy the pre well because it's just faster. And then I give my friends the bobbins because I can't use them anymore. <laughs> it's still kind of in my face. Yeah, I think it's just going to be a huge pain in the ass to try to move this too much. So hopefully this will start to become more interesting looking as we're going. But you can kind of see the blue that it's laying down right now. I wonder if I could just... <laughs> Thanks, Olivia. <laughs> Army of Ancients, thank you for the 100 bits. Appreciate that. Yeah. Some weird machine ASMR. Okay, yeah, now you can see what's going on. That's there much we go. Better. I think from here on out, that will be fine. Yeah. Oh, I will center it up a little bit more. This thing is like really difficult to adjust. <laughs> so, see how it did this one jump skip right here? Um, yeah, I really wouldn't worry about that because it's going to get stitched right over. Cool. Um, at the very end, you can go in with like really tiny scissors, like very sharp, pointy. Yeah. You can just go in there and trim them off. Most of the time, I'm, it's not worth I it. just, it's really not worth it. Okay, I mean, well. if you see one that's like, oh man, it's going over my design, it's going to mess it up in any way, then I would stop the machine, go in there and cut it, and then move on. Cool. Yeah, I'm not too worried. Is there very much um, issue with like the design fraying if you have to trim too much stuff up, or is that not really mm -hmm. everything's so tight in there? Everything is so tight that it's not even it's not even. Move. <laughs> cool. This is a fill stitch that I'm doing right now on the design. One of the pass me that patch right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. You can so, see yeah. how different this one is from the so, one that we already had. This one is a satin stitch which it goes back and forth on the design. And then what I'm doing on like this one is a fill stitch, which is looks better in my opinion. And that's mostly what I use, unless it's like a flower or something, but yeah. Uh, someone, okay, Orange Crush is asking, why is it sky blue? I'm assuming <laughs> you mean compared to the dark blue. It's sky blue because we're specifically trying to match to these large patches. Yeah. So these are patches that I purchased and they came in a set together like this and I was so annoyed that they're completely different looking. Yeah. And I have the capability of making my own small ones on the machine that I already had, but I didn't have the capability of making the big ones. So I decided to make more small ones that just match the big one that I already have. So that's why they're sky blue. But I think they're quite pretty, so I'm not upset about it. Um, you know, it's gonna look nice. Jesse Highwind is uh, saying that they were thinking about upgrading from a hand sewing embroidery to an actual machine. Is it worth it? It's yeah. two different things. It, it really yes. is. It really is two different things. If you like the look of hand embroidery, I, I do it sometimes. Like I'll do a design where it's machine and on the outside I would do hand embroidery because it's, it's just too... It, you've got something that looks organic and then yeah. machine made. <laughs> yeah, the um, hand embroidery you have uh, different techniques and different stitching patterns that you use to achieve different designs. Machine embroidery, um, it generally looks more uniform. I mean, I guess that's a, that's a generalization because you can do a lot of different things with oh, it. Yeah. But typically, where you would want to do more like for elaborate things, um, things that are, I guess, more uniform is more. Um, you can do it very efficiently on a machine. Hand embroidery has a totally different look to it. It's very organic. It looks kind of rustic, kind of quaint. And so um, it's really a, a different, like different techniques and different aesthetic for different results. Uh, but that just depends on what you're trying to do. So I've never ever used this as an embroidery machine. This is my like regular sewing machine <laughs> that, that doubles as an embroidery machine. 
And now that I know everything that goes into it and how expensive the software is and everything, I doubt that I will ever use this like <laughs> hardcore. I think I'll probably just commission her anytime <laughs> I need something big. Yes. But um, it's really cool just to be able to see it go. And mm -hmm. honestly, I'm excited that I even know anything about this. Yeah, it's it sometimes up. when I have people over and I'm embroidering, they're just like mesmerized. And I'm like, what are you guys doing? We're just watching it come to life. <laughs> yeah, I told her that on her stream she should have a like a, a regular yeah. embroidery cam that's just constantly watching. <laughs> Watching her machine yeah. go. Yeah. Anyway, this is exciting. Do you want to show off some of your work? Oh yeah. All she, right. So. She brought some examples of things that she's worked on, so yes. that we can show it off. So this is something I've worked on. I can't. Where is we This at? is so cute. <laughs> Here we go. This so I designed this. Um, for a commission. Yours is next to a ruler. Yeah. This is like eight inches tall-ish. Yeah, that took about... Six and a half inches I wide. would say maybe six hours, but I also have a 10 needle machine, so <laughs> it, it helps out. Thank you. Yeah, that is super amazing. <laughs> yeah, so this was... Uh, I do a lot of anime girls, so. <laughs> and this was also another, I know if anybody watches anime, you'll know where that's from. <laughs> I love her. So yeah. this is the uh, Cat and Girl anime. Um, and that was also a. Oh, it's ready for the next color. Okay, so now that it's ready for the next color. We'll go back to that in just yes, a second. we'll go back. <laughs> All right, so, so it's what, automatically clipped it. Yes, so what I would do is I would go in here and kind of trim this one off because the white's gonna go through there. Yeah. But yeah. I wonder if I should go get my pointy pointy. Yeah, well these are pretty pointy. I wasn't sure how sharp they are, but it seems yeah. to be doing just That's well. That's pretty good. Do I, should I worry about any of the No, because, let's see, we're doing the no background one. I'm just gonna get these because yeah. they're obvious. Then I'm not gonna worry about the rest of them. Yeah, I would just sit there and snip. I usually do. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. For well, in, itch in between one, yeah, I usually do. Then I'll just take a moment and do that. Yeah. You can keep talking about your anime girls. My anime girls. <laughs> so, yeah, this one was a commission and I really love how it came out. Um, this, this probably took about four hours, a little, maybe a little under four hours, so. That's not too bad. Yeah, what I was talking about, it's more, machine embroidery is better for like a regular look. What I mean is like how she's basically filling in large areas of solid color in order to create this like cartoon image compared to something that would be hand embroidery. I think of hand embroidery being more often a larger variety of styles of stitching like flower petals yeah. done a certain way and then the stem is stitched a different way and those are all like detailed hand stitches. Yeah, so, so I've done where... Yeah, it's a stylistic difference. Right, so like say I'll do this anime girl and then she has a flower in her hair. I would do that by hand, the flower, because I want it to be a little more 3D. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you get variation in the stitch type. Yes. Which you can still do with the machine. You but can, but it's... It, it's a different thing. Exactly. So... And then I've got my little moogles. Oh, like, that's so cute. I love that moogle. Moogles. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but the white background is filled with an X pattern stitch. So it's got like a texture to it. Or you can see it a little bit when I put it up like this. The texture there that you're seeing is not just the fabric. Yeah, it's called a cross stitch background. Yeah. So I added that to the background for it. Um, <laughs> Moogle, yes, <laughs> love them, they're so cute. <laughs> yeah, Moogles are like my favorite. I know, they're so adorable. <laughs> and then I do like little patches for idol fans, um, which is like for the Love Livers or the IMAS, which is like the idol master groups. And so there's some of those that I sell in my shop as well for like all the Eda bags. <laughs> Don't forget about the Precure Army. Oh yeah, I did those patches for the Precure Army. <laughs> she does a lot of uh, idols and magical girls. Yes, Isn't that I right? do. Yeah. You know what? They have an intricate outfits. <laughs> they do. <laughs> but yeah, real. I uh, think ferocious. Yeah, they. I love the gold on the 
some gold metallic that I use because it it's just brings out the colors and everything. And then I have the piece of resistance versus my <laughs> my idol jacket. <laughs> do you want to show that? Or do you want to get the other stuff set up first? Yeah, let's set this one up. Yeah. Okay. I did uh, most of them. There's a few here and there. That's totally fine. Yeah. yeah I got it's just the big like ones. the big ones. Okay. okay. So now we're going to put it back into the machine. And then you're going to change to the chrome. Nice. Which I don't is... know why it's called chrome. Let me look at it real quick. But it is showing the part that it is. White, it is so. the white. I just. I guess, I guess that's just the name of the color. I guess so. That's so weird. Right. Oh, because I, I that was the one color that I had to put in the machine. That's right. I didn't have that one. Okay, so that is now back in its little registration guy. Those little registration holes. I need to make sure this is up. Actually, yes. I'm pulling my thread out. There we go. So I foresee myself changing threads a lot while I continue to make five more of these patches later. Oh, thanks, Chessy. Yes, all my 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 Etsy store has a bunch of idle stuff. So I'm gonna take the plastic with this first. He's an idle otaku. Yeah. That's cute. <laughs> Eat a bags. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Vince. Pure <laughs> army. All the way. <laughs> Some of my friends um, from Texas were in that group. Yes, the, Kat, was yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the Texas girls. Oh, thanks, kitten. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you, kitten, oh, for continuing so to much. spam the link to that. Just keep throwing it up there every, every <laughs> I totally now and then. I totally appreciate it. <laughs> we're gonna get her streams kicked off the ground so you can have your own streaming yeah. set up. It's gonna be great. You're great. <laughs> All right, sorry, I'm struggling to get this thread out of the plastic. Oh, maybe just... we should get the other one open. Oh, no, the other one's open, too. <laughs> yeah, it's already open. It's just... Anyway. It's kind of cool, though, to see, you can totally see, like, half the design there already. Yeah, it's really cool. Well, not quite half, but, you know. Yeah, this one shouldn't take too long. These small patches, like, even my, my 765 patch, I think it only takes like 20 minutes. And that's fully, like the background right, is there also we go. full. This plastic is like <laughs> not designed to rip off in any kind of It's like, not perforated? No, it's not perforated anywhere and also it won't <laughs> rip off vertically. It's like shredding itself horizontally around here. That's why I'm struggling so much with this. So, sorry Jesse, guys. Jesse, um... <laughs> The C says, I uh, got a favorite Sorry. in each idol group. Ah, uh, well, I mass, which is idol master. I like Makoto and Hibiki. And then Love Live, so like Muse, I like Nico. And then Love Live Sunshine, I like Yohane, because dark idols are my favorite. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, thanks, Tiffany. <laughs> There we go. Yeah. All right. Victory Yay, over the plastic. Victory. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I swear I know how to thread this in a timely manner. All right. Okay. See, See how it's going to grab onto right here? See how it's getting wrapped right here? Sometimes I just don't even use this. Is that better than yeah. that? Okay, cool. Uh, Yes, Jesse, uh, Johanne. <laughs> you guys bonding over idols, yes. over liking the same girls. Uh, yes, what do they say? Johanne is best girl. She is. Oh, Magato is. She's great. <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. All right, lift this up. Make sure nothing's twisted around anywhere weird. I think you have an auto threader. It doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't I work? I mean, okay. it works. It just doesn't work. <laughs> All right, so now you're going to hit the green button. Okay, everything's ready. Yep. This is down. Yep, okay. everything's secured. Yep. Okay. So you're going to have it do a couple stitches, and then you're going to pause it to cut the, the tail. Okay. Yeah, fine. Yep. Pause it to cut the tail. There we go. And then ready to go again. And you are doing the white. Nice. All right. This is ex 
exciting. So this white is gonna be all of the white wing <laughs> as well as the border, so. Yay. Oh, Tiffany, Tiffany, you're, you're right, yeah. <laughs> There's Mokos in everything. There, there really is, it's just like one of those names that you just throw into the wind. Yes. Oh, I guess I can go get my jacket. Oh, oh yes, please do. Okay. So we'll, we'll cut those yeah, before we go to the car. Yeah. Yeah, so it is making some larger jumps from different sections, and so we are going to cut those tails at some point here. Yeah, so like my embroidery machine, uh, every time it jumps, it cuts. Um, oh, the, mine doesn't do that. Yeah, the ones that, some some of them just don't have the capability to do that. Um, but I started out with one that didn't cut every time it jumped, so. You just hey, it's starting work. to do a little bit of an outline, that's neat. So this is my idle jacket that took me eight hours to do. This is so much. It's just, uh, this is all embroidery. Uh, how big is this whole thing, do you uh, think? It's about 14 by 14. Um, so, yeah, so like all the patches that I added onto here are the ones I have in my store. Um, and this was for the, uh, do you want to try to put it here? Yeah. I know it's probably oh, it's like too big to put. Idle jacket. <laughs> this is like an entire jacket back. Yeah. So. This is so cool. All the characters. <laughs> this is what I wore to the Anime Expo Idol concerts that day zero. Yeah. That Friday. I'm gonna pause this and cut some of the threads because yeah. I know they're overlapping in that way. They yeah. are overlapping. Yeah. Because I saw that. So yeah, keep talking oh, about yeah. jacket. So this is my idle jacket, my my beautiful idle jacket. It's lovely. It, that's really impressive that it's so huge. And of course, I got my pins in the front so I can have represent my girls. Yes, yeah, so. wug. <laughs> so this this design specifically, like the flowers are um, satin stitched, but everything else is uh, fill stitch. So. That's, I can show you the difference of the two once she... Do you have any smaller examples? Or, yeah. I mean, just that might be easier to show. Oh, yeah. And for that, you need basically an industrial embroidery machine. Yeah. yeah. That's um, not something my, you can do on any little home no, machine. No, my, my, uh, my embroidery machine can do jackets. So, super excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how big is that whole machine? Yes, uh, my, my industrial one? Yeah. Uh, Quite large. <laughs> you say how expensive or how large? Or how it's big expensive. is it? Yeah. Um, it takes like half of my table. <laughs> it's so big. Nice. All right, I'm gonna let this keep rolling. Yeah. I just clipped some of the like the weird connecting threads that were like stretched across everything. Oh yeah, she does the Overwatch Letterman deck. I do. Uh, starting that. Monday, I'm gonna be. Uh, if you go on like my Instagram or my Twitter, you kind of see a little bit of it. Um, I'm doing some Overwatch jackets, the Letterman jackets. You can either do like. Uh, you can either do um, pick a regular or the ones with the hoodie. So those I'm gonna be doing sets. So my, like for a whole week, that's one whole set, and then once they're done, that's it. <laughs> that's awesome. So you have to get in on that at the right yeah. time, and that's per character, right? Like you'll do different characters. Yes. Um, yeah. So I think Torbjorn, uh, May, uh, Reaper. Soldier 76, I think those are the few that are coming out on Monday, so. I like this stream because we don't have to actually do anything. I know. <laughs> you know, that's pretty much what mine are going to be, I'm so yeah. sorry. Yeah, no, whatever. I mean, we, uh, she's been here for hours, and we spent so long setting up, and then we started having technical difficulties oh my right before it began. <laughs> Luckily, we got them worked out, but my face cam wasn't working again randomly. Oh, yes, um, Felicia, Zenyatta is one of them, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how did I get into embroidery? Um, Bacon flour, thanks for following. Yeah, I, it was literally cosplay that got me into doing embroidery. I needed to do for a costume and I bought uh, a lower end embroidery machine and that's kind of where it started. I just did it for a costume and that's how I grew into doing it as a 
a business, so I help cosplayers with like trims, patches, anything they need. Yeah. She can do all kinds of crazy embroidery that I haven't found anyone else that can do like a, on a commission basis. Like when I was working on my Zelda costume, if you guys were following me for that, you know that I went through great lengths to make these like um, lace panels that go around the bottom of her dress. And she has the capability of embroidering that kind of stuff. Yep. And I wish I would have known yeah, that. Yeah, I, I can do custom uh, lace. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was on a big time crunch. There was yeah, a lot that, going you know, on. yours came out beautifully. It's thank you, perfectly thank you. fine. <laughs> it, was, it was fine. But in the future, I'm definitely going to go to you for issues like that. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, because she can do design work mm -hmm. as well as um, yep. just recreating any like pre made images that people have. So. so, Wendy has a question. Can we buy them from you? Or so, they're going to be a pre order. This is just going to, on Monday, this, the jackets. Are you talking about the Overwatch jackets? I hope so. Yeah, I think, yeah. Talking okay, about the Overwatch. So, the Overwatch jackets, there's. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna post, I've been posting this whole week. Um, they're gonna go live on Monday. Um, and certain characters are only gonna go for a whole week and then after that, it's gonna be another set. Travel some with a tap tap. That's right. Tap, tap. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Vince, May is there. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be doing some leather work streams again soon because I want to get the most out of that yeah. um, that tap tap emote that we've got going on now. Yeah. Welcome Travel Sound, welcome Whale Facts. Um, um, so let's see, Scarlett has a question. Oh, where can we get, make a commission? Um, through my Etsy store, you can just go into the commissions tab. I can talk to you through there and, um, and I can help you with your cosplay needs. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. This is so fun just to like watch it yeah, go. Yeah, I've, I've, I've been sewing sometimes with the embroidery machine in the background and I like look at it and I'm like mesmerized and then I forget what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, this is going to make me feel really productive despite the fact that I'm just chilling. <laughs> yeah. At least we can converse with you guys a little more. Um, Anna is asking about freehand embroidery um, on a non-embroidery machine. So you're probably talking about like a satin stitch that just goes and you can maneuver. Is that is that right, Anna? Um, do you have any input about that kind of thing? Um, um, yeah, um, well, you can, well, with the machines, like what I have is I vector a design and then I digitize it with the software and then I put it onto the embroidery machine. Like these, the, the patches that I did for her, I vectored them and then, then I digitized them. But I'm not sure about freehanding because with the machine, I mean if it was the like your regular sewing machine, I have done it where it's like, you can do the, um, what's that? Uh, I can't even think right now. <laughs> can't do certain things with certain machines. Yeah, this this machine here has like a freehand and yeah. like they have like weird decorative stitches yeah. that you can stitch in a certain pattern uh, and then just maneuver your fabric if you wanted to have like a nice, like a small stitching border on something. But it's very, very limited. Um, but you know, this is nice for doing small embroidery. Now I know I can do patches. Yeah. So neat. Yeah. Probably cut that one. Yeah, I was about to say, because it's going to move. Yeah, it's, I always watch it like it'll start going down, so. It's just going straight over that other one. All right, well, I'm going to real quick pause. I was going to get that other one up in the top corner, but it's just going to get completely covered. So it doesn't <laughs> even matter. All right, so we're just resuming now. Just cutting off one of the tails that was connecting two sections. Uh, Wendy's asking, what's the best way to attach patches to clothing? Do you use a certain stitch? Do you like to use any kind of iron-on transfer material? Um, yeah, so in my shop, I, I either have like iron-on or sew-on, so yeah, you can do... I just use like heat bond, but I use the industrial one, so I think it's the red also probably use that basting spray to set it like to spray the back of the patch or whatever yeah. put it onto the fabric and then stitch around it if yeah. you want to do that 
But really, any kind of stitch that secures it that doesn't look bad is going to be fine, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. The wings of freedom. Yay! Guys, this is so much more exciting than just buying patches. <laughs> <laughs> I love making patches. <laughs> Yeah, so once again, this is the Brother SC400. It's a totally an entry-level machine. It only does really small stuff. I don't know. It might be able to use slightly larger hoops. I don't know. Um, it could come, like, this one was just like, oh, With hey, it. here's an introductory yeah. hoop, but... I think I, it is pretty limited, though. Yeah, it could... Like with mine, there's it came with maybe four or five hoops, but then I had to buy the in-between hoops because it goes from like super tiny to humongous. And I'm like, I need the little ones in between. <laughs> um, okay. Kitten is asking, sorry if it's just for are what we're seeing going to be the back of the patch? This is the front of the patch that you're looking at. Yeah. It just um, gets sewn in little sections. So the gray of this felt is going to be like the background here. It's just mm -hmm. going to be visible through and then like the borders and the details will be the last things that are added on the top. So you're looking at the front of the patch right now um, and then hopefully we'll get it all done on stream and then be able to take it out and show it off and you can see that what's on the front and the back of all of that. Um, my patches are going to be removable from the costume so that I can switch them out so that I can be like, oh, it's Wings of Freedom in the Survey Corps, except now I'm cosplaying Annie, and so here's my military <laughs> police here's patches or whatever. <laughs> so I'm going to be able to switch them out off of the jacket so that I can do multiple characters. Yeah. But uh, typically, if I were just a pat attaching the patches permanently, I would stitch it on somehow. Yay, That's right, it's like the needles tap tapping almost. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. Yeah. Velcro patches is the plan. Go tell them. Yep. That's funny. This is exciting. What do we got? Adnalore, thank you for following. Um, I'm gonna run and grab out of my travel suitcase. It's still upstairs from my last con. I'm gonna go grab my other pair of snips. Yeah. It's a slightly sharper tip. Uh, you gonna be good for just a second? All right, I'll be right back. She'll still be here answering your embroidery questions. <laughs> yes. Mesmerized. prices or custom orders. Um, it depends on how intricate the design is or how big you want it. Um, so I would just have to talk one-on-one -on -one basis with you and see what you need and, and what your design is. Yes, I'm alone with them. She's like, haha, she's along with us. I'm like, ah. please don't scare me, my friend. <laughs> um, the Lost Void, uh, the machines I use, I have the Dream Machine, which is the single needle, and the Big Ten needle is the. Uh, it's an industrial it's one. It's an industrial one. It's something pro. <laughs> it's so, the, like, the lettering is so tiny, I'm just like, it works for me. I don't wear I want to know what that machine looks like. Instamat. Following. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. Uh, let me actually look at that because now I'm like, what is my machine called? What's the next convention that we can find you at? Asks Cospix. What about you? Um, I am going to Mad West. Ooh, yeah, nice. my friends are going, and I was like, I need a vacation. <laughs> Where is that one? That one. They were like, here, come with us. I'm like, okay. <laughs> uh, my next con is Dragon Con. 
So, anybody going to Dragon Con, you can see me there. I'm gonna be there as Zelda, I'm gonna be there as Toriel from The Hobbit, which is gonna be a really fun costume. <laughs> Like, we're not that scary. <laughs> <laughs> JK, we're not scary. That's right. You guys are so sweet. You're just pretending to be scary. Yes, kitten. It sometimes the noise in the background while I'm sewing, I'm just like, oh, especially when I have two machines going at once. It's just like ambient noise going in my sewing it's room. It's that ASMR. <laughs> it's <the> sewing <laughs> embroidery. Hey, World of Gwendana. Nice to see you here. Oh. And yeah, Dragon Con. I'm gonna hang out. Yes, Felicia, I am going to a con with you too. I just forgot what it was called. <laughs> uh, Two Wolf Design is asking how detailed you can get with embroidery designs. Um, she showed some really detailed yeah, stuff. Yeah, so this gets pretty detailed. Um, I, if you want something really detailed, you can't go too small. Um, if you want it. So like when I talk to people that want commissions, they're like, I want a four by four of this. And I look at it, I'm like, that's a little intricate. It would look better as a six by six. So yes. Yeah, just depending on how much how much thread you're trying to cram into what yeah. how many square inches. <laughs> so it's So I just paused it once again to yes. sn snip some of the connecting threads. Snip, and we'll just continue. That's looking really good so far. Yeah, it is. It's looking really clean and sharp. This one is like, just all of the shapes are really rounded. It just looks really clunky. And the one that we're making is much, much more similar to this like yeah. nice sharp. And I really like one. the color matching as well, because yeah. I don't know why that one's so dark. Yeah, it's just totally different colors. So that's why we're redoing these. Yeah, this is still lighter than like the, I guess this one matches the, the original better, but whatever. We're yeah. just, we're matching it to each other. It's gonna be fine. Sorry, I cut you oh, off. Oh, no worries, saying. no worries. You're talking um, about details. Yeah, so details, um, it's sometimes if I see a design too and they're like, well, I really want it to be a three by three, I will have to take some of the design aspects out of that design because it just won't look right. Once you stitch it, it'll look, it'll look crappy. It'll look too tight together. So I just use my, my best judgment. <laughs> Thank you, Kitten, for just repeating that message throughout the stream. That's awesome. That's helpful. So we got links to her Twitter, her Etsy, and her Twitch, where she's going to begin streaming pretty soon here. Yeah. But she's already posting all kinds of cool cosplay and embroidery-related <laughs> things on the rest of her social media. Yeah. So. Oh, hey! hey! Chance is here! Hi, Cat! <laughs> <laughs> she's our friend IRL. Yes. <laughs> Idol life. Idol, yes, that's right. She was part of the Precure army we were talking yes, about. Yes, she was. So yeah, this is exciting to watch mm -hmm. it just go. Now the machine is just doing our bidding. We don't even have to. <laughs> we don't even have to make our own cosplays anymore. No, just let it do its thing. <laughs> Bomber Girls Forever. <laughs> yes, cat chance. Yeah. <laughs> Does the machine ever mess up? Asks Travelsome. Um, I've had it to where the bobbin just explodes. <laughs> like, underneath. It I don't know. It just, something, something gets caught or it, the jump stitch didn't cut properly and then the, the foot goes through and then it just, it's just a mess. And I've had a few needles break and it scares the crap out of me. <laughs> Scary. But um, especially when the machine keeps going, by the way, these machines do not stop for a broken needle. So <laughs> that is scary. Um, I mean, unless it got jammed somewhere, then it'll be like error. It'll 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 have like a a safety mechanism, like where it'll stop itself. But it won't stop. It'll just keep going. Do you, would you typically leave your machines unattended if it were um, set up to like? Keep I do. Going? Yeah. I do. Um, sometimes I'm in the other room playing Diablo, <laughs> um, and I'll hear it, and I I know the sounds of my machines that I know something's wrong, so I'll run back there and 
stop it real quick. Vagrant Riot. That has to be a Vagrant Story name. Um, I'm calling you on your Vagrant Story reference. I love that game so much. Um, Vagrant Riot is asking, how much was this machine? Um, this one is the Brother SE400. I don't know the price on it. You can just Google that. The reason why I don't know the price on it is because I won this in a cosplay contest. So yay, that's <laughs> awesome. Um, so I didn't, I didn't buy this machine myself, but like we mentioned earlier, this is very limited embroidery capabilities. Oh, that's awesome. You found me through Vagrant Story. Yeah. I wish more people appreciated that game. No, um, Vince, you can't put it over 9,000. <laughs> but it does, my machine does a thousand stitches per second. That's, really? Yeah, a thousand stitches insane. per second. A thousand stitches per second. Like, it just, like, it goes so fast. I'm just like, oh my god. It's in a second, but like minutes. Sorry. Okay, minutes. a loader a bot, is that the, I'm, ass I'm assuming that's the price of this machine on Amazon. Uh, is 153 that's very cheap for an uh, embroidery machine. Like I said, this is very entry level, it's very limited in what it can do, but it can make patches, and yeah. if you only need like, you know, standard small size patches, then this is definitely going to do that. Oh, that's nice that you worked in commercial that's embroidery, awesome. I think, digitizing. Yeah, her machines are much larger, more <laughs> elaborate, and more expensive than mine, but we're just using what yeah. I've got right now to, to kind of show it off. Yeah, yeah. neat, neat. There it is. I'm gonna... Yeah, you can pause it at any time to cut the... You can also, what you can do too, is you can um, cut the cut it. Oh, and I could take it out if I wanted yes. to. Do you want to do that? I mean, yes. I'm kind of working on it right now. Yeah, so I'm just gonna snip some of the connecting threads. Did it cut it? Yes, okay. It did. okay. And this is, yeah, it's just magnetized. I'm gonna snip some of the connecting threads because this white is so extensive, I know it's gonna end up kind of going over itself a lot. Yeah. So we'll just kind of get rid of those. Especially with the, the lower uh, embroidery machines, they don't tend to cut while they're jumping. That's like an extra feature, so like when you get to the higher brands, that's like, do this off camera. Oh, really nice. With that switch views. <laughs> I do have to oil my industrial machine every time I use it because it goes super fast. <laughs> that sounds like scary. You know, it's intense. I, really I, want to I see sometimes this in person. slow it down because I'm like, you're going a little too fast. We're going to go with 900, <laughs> not 1,000, or maybe 800. Let's just go with that. <laughs> so, so much. So what was the total hourly time for your fastest machine, like your industrial machine doing something for, like that? For my, my embroidery jacket, oh, what's the yeah. my embroidery the jacket, jacket, it took eight hours. It split it into two pieces um, because it, it, the software can only handle like so many colors at once per section. So um, did you rehoop it? Um, I didn't two? have to. Okay. Because what it, what it is is when, when I put this jacket as is on the hoop, I have a 14 by 14 hoop. And then I start on one section, but then I actually have to flip the embroidery hoop the other way so it'll stitch the bottom because the arm can only go so far. It can only go so far out. So. Oh, just like the proximity to the edge. Yes. So, it. Okay. so it starts with the top and then you have to cut, you have to move the hoop the other way so it'll stitch the bottom because the arm can only, it'll like fall off if you know, it's There's too still far. a few little That's tiny okay. connecting ones. We can get at those the at very the very end. end yeah. yeah, at the very end, you can snip, snip. Snip, snip. We, snip, need, a, snip. we need an emote for that yeah. next. Snip, Just kidding. Snip. We're going to use up all my emotes doing specific uh, random craft onomatopoeias. Um, the last one, the, yeah. Most higher end machines, they do a go. thousand. We're ready to keep yeah. going. You are ready to go. Look at you. You're going. That one button press. I feel so accomplished. <laughs> I know it's the greatest thing ever. Um, most higher end machines they go about a thousand per minute. So I sometimes t tone mine down depending on the fabric, but it cost some higher ends cost between. I'm trying to give like, like a, an av like an estimate, but I don't know because it depends on what brand and brother or if you go with Viking but the higher ends they cost like 20 grand and it's crazy it now my machines right. don't cost that much but those like those were intense yeah you're not gonna buy that unless it's your business but, yeah <laughs> I mean mine's expensive but not that expensive <laughs> someday you'll be there I know uh, it. someday I will be there <laughs> 
Yes, Jesse. Snip, snip. I need that for my channel. <laughs> snip, snip. That's right. <laughs> Uh, Tiffy was asking, do you recommend this machine for someone wanting to start embroidery? Um, yes, but I like ones that are strictly only embroidery. Yeah. I I don't like to have embroidery and sewing in, in together. Yeah, I, I will say that this machine doing both, I primarily use this for stitching. Yeah. It was enough setup to get all of this in place that I probably won't go back and forth very often. Yeah. Like if I have to do any embroidery, I'll get it all set up. It'll mm -hmm. be a, a pain in the ass. I'll get it set up, run every embroidery that I have, and then go back. So if you're trying to do both and you're doing work, yeah, like I, a lot of work, it's, it's yeah. better to have dedicated machines. So I have like, my 10 needle only does embroidery, but then my single needle does embroidery and um, sewing, but I never use it for sewing. I use my Viking for sewing, <laughs> my little sewing machine. But um, for starting out, I like the PE770 Brother. It's strictly only embroidery. And the hoops go as big as, uh, it goes pretty big. I think maybe 10, five by 10 or something like that. But I know the smallest one I think is like five by seven. Yeah, this is, I think, the only hoop size that goes on this machine. It might have one that's slightly larger that I just don't have yet, but this is like the one that came with it. Loaderbot, thank you for subscribing. Now you get the link, um, the link alert over there. Also, hello, Nilio, nice to see you here. Everybody say hi to Jeremy. <laughs> uh, the Lost Void, where do I get the machines? Yeah, so you go to, um, you go to retailers that sell that they're authorized dealers. That's where you would go. You can test them out, see which one works for you. Yes. And that's what I did. I, I sat oh, there sorry. and I was like, give me all the embroidered machines. I want to test them all out. And they'll let you play with it. That's so, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably much smarter than shopping on the internet. Yeah. You have to find a place that's like specialty for sewing and embroidery mm -hmm. machines, but it's worth it to do your research in person yeah. and compare everything. Yes, LoaderBot, I finally took the time to like update my uh, Twitch alerts a little bit. <laughs> I still need to update a lot of things for the screen, but I'm, I'm trying. We're getting there eventually. I like that there's a Hyperion. <laughs> well, it says hype, but it's like Borderlands. Oh, it looks, yeah. It's very Borderlands. That's somebody else's. <laughs> I'm sure that it is. I'm sure it's a Hyperion hype. LoaderBot, where's that emote from? It's cute. Yeah. Um, I only have one emote, which is the top top, but you know, we'll get there. We'll get more <laughs> emotes eventually. Oh, there's a fly in here. No. <laughs> oh, she got it. Yeah, so you guessed it. Oh, yeah! Right. I love Borderlands. <laughs> Good. Nice. It looks, it yeah. That's, That's really cool. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Are you famous, lol? How did you get those machines? <laughs> Fame does not equal money, unfortunately. Um, but you know, the, she does this as a business, so yeah, for her, it, she's running them constantly. It's I'm definitely constantly. worthwhile. Yeah. Uh, made your own. Oh, talking about the emotes. Oh. I don't know how you make your own emotes. The loader bot will have to tell you yeah. what that's all about. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I know it's it's getting it's there. Together. It's got like it's got like two more sections to stitch of the white, yep. and then we'll get to see the black outline in in action. Super exciting! This is exciting. Um, I think affiliates only get one emote, but they can upload like the different versions of the emote for the different people. I'll need to check into that. I don't have additional emotes available yet, as far as I know. Oh, so you just made your own emote for your own channel and that's what you got. Okay, that's cool. Nice job, LoaderBot, it's nice. All right, Halia, nice to see you. Thanks for stopping by and chatting and all that. And thanks for the, the sub as well. Uh, so Vagrant Riot is asking about the special software that she uses for the design. Oh. Okay, yeah. so I use the PE Design 10. Uh, it's the brother, and uh, there's free ones out there, but they're very limited, so I can't use limited things because I need everything. But this one, um, it's a little pricey, but there's versions, lower versions that you can get that fits your budget. So.
I know, I'm just like. All right, okay, so it's gonna do a little bit more stitching in the yes. middle, probably. But the it's done. The color matches details. perfectly with that one. I'm really happy yeah, with I this really color like match. It. I just yeah. went to Joanne. I took my big patch, Joanne, match. and looked, and this is a sulky thread. And like like we mentioned earlier, this is lighter than the reference image. It's like a dark blue. I don't care. It's pretty. It's really pretty, and it matches the patch yeah. that I already have. So that's what we got. <laughs> Madeline is heading out to go study. All right, have fun. Good luck on your, your studying. Bye. <laughs> have a good night. Oh, now I can hear the music. We I can't know. even hear the music over this machine. <laughs> Hopefully our volume is still fine. Let us know if you can't hear us very well and we'll, we'll adjust. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, if, when I stream, I'm gonna okay, have to set time my... for black. All right. All right, so now you get to go in, then snip, snip, snip some stuff. Uh -huh. Get in there and this is clean it up. There we go. So you can see some of the thread connecting. Yeah, the jump stitches. Threads. Yeah. Jump stitches. So we're going to take a moment. This will be off camera just because it's hard to put <laughs> on there. Off camera. Off camera, that's right. If you guys have any questions about stuff we're doing today, mm -hmm. now's a good time to ask where you're not fighting over the machine for volume. <laughs> He's like, I didn't even realize there was a music. Yeah, over this machine, you don't even hear it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. That's funny. Yeah, I'm probably gonna take my time with this a little bit more since we've got. Yeah, once only you start the on the outline. next one, you can. What I do is I just sit there and actually clean it while this one's going. The next one's going. But. What do you mean? If when you do like a, another oh, patch. Oh, right. I yeah, see so what you're you, saying. While that one's going, you can clean this one up and, the next and one sit stitching. there. Yeah. Cool. And I'm just trying to get the big connections. Anything that's going to look weird with the outline going over it. Yeah. It's easier now but because once that black stitch is over, it's going to be really hard. Like that, that one right there. Yeah, to pick one. things up. So maybe I can do this on camera. <laughs> yeah. So right now she's just cutting the little jump stitches. That way it'll look clean and it'll be easier when the next color stitches through. I'm a little paranoid about cutting into the fabric or the stitching that I'm not trying to cut, but I think it's gonna be okay. Oh yeah, it'll be fine. I'm glad you're confident. <laughs> <laughs> so many years. <laughs> yeah, you've been doing this, you said, for 10 years? Yeah, for a long time. I started out small, just like for cosplay and stuff, and then I gradually like... Escalating commitment. Esca yeah, <laughs> and then I'm like, new machine, new machine, bigger machine. <laughs> now you own an enormous industrial machine that just does everything. It's like half my body, <laughs> you might as a machine. <laughs> Uh, lower right corner. Oh, I guess what you're saying. I mean, it's whatever. Like, this one does match the style of the other one. I think these are both probably, like, fan-made designs. I just pulled the image straight mm -hmm. off of Google Image. Like, I didn't make my own vector because this has been done over and over and over again. So, yeah, it may not be 100% accurate, but whatever. It looks really good. That's what matters to me. And like I said, the blue, I'm happy with the blue. I think it's a very pretty blue, so who cares? You know what? The manga is in black and white, so. <laughs> yeah. Did you use a pre-existing pattern? Um, so. So I found a, like a PNG yeah. image uh, on Google, and I mm -hmm. sent it to her, and she did customization on that image to mm -hmm. um, make it appropriate for the machine. Yeah. So yeah. You can't take a picture that is super pixelated and throw it into your digitizer because it's going to grab everything so what i do is when she sent me one i just re-vectored it and then put it into the digitizer that way it'll be like here this is all you need to embroider <laughs> oh nice well thank you for doing that you're very welcome <laughs> <laughs> i didn't even know you put that much oh effort, yeah right? it's fine <laughs> that's what i do <laughs> just trying to like um sorry through. we are embroidering on felt right now mm -hmm. it's usually patches felt is perfectly fine you just have to make sure when you're in the digitizing software that your tension is correct because the machine is not going to know oh it needs to be loose here or it's going to pull really tightly you have to tell the software what to do so that it'll tell the machine what to do because if not it'll just turn into a mess 
I know. <laughs> These flies get into the house and then they fly around in my room, making me mad. <laughs> I killed one on camera on one of our You're previous like, streams. <laughs> I had a fly land on my work surface and then I, I got him. It was a. I hope you killed it with leather. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had an electric fly swatter. Oh, that's perfect. Then. <laughs> um, it would have been better if I killed it with leather, but yeah. Somebody made a clip of it. I think Kitten made a clip of it, so it was like immortalized in our stream. <laughs> That was fun. <laughs> um, you could just use Illustrator to uh, vector designs. So. Digitizing is an art sometimes. I sometimes even have trouble um, because you don't know how the fabric is going to react to being embroidered. So sometimes I just go extra tension. I'm like, here, just make it super loose because I know eventually it just get really tight on the fabric. Especially with this jacket right here, I had to make sure that all the tensions were completely good because it's this stuff is like super stretchy and I had to make sure that... The fabric that it's on? Yeah, the, the denim, is, that jacket is so stretchy, I had to make sure that it was like a five. <laughs> so you were telling me earlier that one of, the, um, one of the aspects of digitizing the image is that you have to have thread orientations going in different mm -hmm. directions because if it's all one direction, it yes. creates too much tension on the yeah, fabric. Yeah, it'll pull the fabric. So say you have all the, the design is going at a 45 degree angle. Well, the corner back down here is gonna start going up because everything is pulling and it's going up. So that when you do your border, it's not gonna line up properly. So you have to make sure when you look at your design that it's it looks decent, but it, they're all kind of going in a different direction. Like her wings are all going in different directions. Um, yeah, the thread kind of like almost wraps around exactly. so that the, the stitches is going, I'm barely on the camera. <laughs> the stitching is like moving and each one is slightly different so that the angle is different and it's like fanned out with the orientation of those Bye threads. Loaderbot. So. Oh yeah, bye Loaderbot, sorry. <laughs> have a good night. Oh, going to vacation? That's exciting. Dang, have, have a fun. nice vacation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you just have to make sure that when you're in the digitizer, you kind of spread out the the directions of where it's going, because if not, it's gonna be a little bit of a mess at the end. It's not gonna line up properly, especially when you have a top stitch going over a design, like this one right here. This is actually a good example, because there's a top stitch on this one. This is my anime girl, yay. So see this stitching line that I went through here? I made sure that this light pink had enough give that so when this one went over it, it wouldn't be off of the picture. It, would, it wouldn't be like over here somewhere. Cool. So yeah, there's a lot of finesse and trial and error that goes into making this just magically go. <laughs> and all of this is entirely due to Patricia having the knowledge and experience to make that happen. But thank you for yeah, helping no me problem. set this up today. This is exciting. I love embroidering. <laughs> I love your enthusiasm because I've never been excited about embroidery until right now. Oh, so exciting. <laughs> All right, so this is pretty good. I feel like I need to lay it flat. Like once I get it out of this hoop entirely, I can kind of snip along the top for any of the like really tiny connecting threads. Yeah. But I do have everything like Yeah, that actually looks fine. Cut up. Oh, yeah, there's one right here. So it's no longer like flat. Oh, that guess. one probably will disappear with the black, actually. Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> All right, well then. Uh, yeah, don't okay. worry about that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna slip this back in and we need to set up our black thread. Yes. So that is snapped into place, cool. Um, put this up, so we'll just pull this out. Bye, casual Viking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bye, casual Viking, have a good night. Yes, she is converting. <laughs> oh, I need to pull the thread out. Yes, it's all magic. Everything is magic. Patricia has brought her magic to my stream. Idle magic. <laughs> okay. 
I like to put these on because I feel like it that actually one's does okay, help. but the other one it Wait. would get caught. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. Well, if it does I mean, have you can issues. you can always have it to where. Sometimes I'll have it there just to hold, mm -hmm. and then I'll just take it off. Yeah. But I see what you're saying. Okay. Because I mean, we're watching it, but for me, since I leave the room and just let it do its thing, I don't want the, the little stopper for the yeah thread. And make sure it's through the little hold black on. magic. <laughs> it's idle magic. <laughs> okay, so that is ready to go. This is in there. It says black. We've got the black thread yep. in there. Okay, and then the foot needs to be down. Yep. And now green press to go. The All right, everybody. All right, so you can actually stop it right there. Yeah, because it's starting to yep. already go like over itself. So we're gonna yeah. pull this out. I usually do about like two or three stitches, so it'll yeah. just grab itself, and then it'll I will. Go a little bit too far. So now we've just removed this so that it doesn't get caught and then become a part of the design that we didn't want. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Felicia, Johanne magic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a teeny tiny like satin stitch. Oh, that's so cool. Yes, I made that's it so to do that. Yes. yes, you're so good. <laughs> She's the best. This girl right here is making yeah. have patches. Oh yeah, no, I was like, oh, I'm gonna make this look nice. <laughs> it looks really nice. I'm not gonna I'm excited look, yeah. about this. That's about, so normally default, it does like the zigzag stitch about eight, but I've turned it down to four, that's a four. Yeah. Is that um, that's super the tight. width? It, yeah, the yeah. width of it. Um, so that's as small as it'll go. So yeah, I, I realize you guys can't fully see what I'm freaking out about, but, but it oh, has. They can kind of see it now. A little black. See it now. Yeah. This like really <laughs> clean little nice. Um, Nine thousand. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I think I'm gonna be more diligent about snipping them as I go. Let that you can. Away. Because I, I'm afraid that if we have a bunch that are just like all overlapping each other, it's just gonna be difficult to get them all at the end. It's not too bad. You can, cause see, it's gonna, when it jumps, the ones I'm more worried about is when it jumps pretty far. Those little ones, you can snip at the very end because it already, it already did the little stitching right here. Oh yeah. So, All right, well, you, you whatever. Just... I'm just being like <laughs> overly, <is> okay. <laughs> overly invested in everything, I guess. Oh, uh, hello, hey, it's Char, welcome. Yeah, so this is has been extremely educational for me today because I've never done this before. Yeah. And I need six of these, so that's not all happening tonight. I'm gonna be able to run this over yes. again and make sure that my settings are correct. I but. actually like it without the background. Me too. I think I, it looks great. Yeah, yeah. I, think it, I don't think you need the background for it. I think no. it looks really nice. So. Yeah, we were debating, because we are using this gray fabric as a base, and we were debating whether or not the gray background needed to be um, embroidered as well to have it be like filled in with gray mm -hmm. stitching, or whether or not we were just gonna use the gray of the felt in it, like as a part of the design, and I I really like it how it is. There's, I think that the more thread we add on there, like the more it's just gonna become like tight and it doesn't. I don't think we add anything. Um, I'm. She just helped me set up a little bit today, so I will probably start streaming next week when I do the Overwatch Letterman jackets. You guys can see the process of what I'm doing. That'll be so cool. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> I'm excited. I'll I'll come to your streams. If yeah. I get a chance. <laughs> Char, thank you for the kind comment about my Splatoon cosplay. Yes. I had so much fun as a squid. That was probably like the silliest costume <laughs> I've ever made. And people were honestly like, they were fascinated by it because they were just like, what the hell is on your head? What is, is that? It was beautiful. <laughs> it was beautiful. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I could probably show that off if I... Yeah. Well, I don't want to interrupt our... Um, this thing is doing is, progress. you know, I would probably have to be doing something else because <laughs> my machine does everything. <laughs> Alex Snave, thanks for following. Cole Evans is probably your name. <laughs> also, Ashwee's Cosplay, thanks for following. Uh, 37, yeah, I can do tutorials if, uh, 
anybody request them. <laughs> Hi, Ashley. Alpaca Ash is here. She's one of our mods and also one of my friends. Yay. Do you know Ashley? No, I don't. Uh, you should meet her. She's I really should. Cool. I should yeah. meet you. <laughs> <laughs> this is Patricia. <laughs> Oh, thank you for the comments about Squid Girl shoes. Those were really fun. Those shoes are definitely going to get worn in real life. I'm going to definitely have a lot of opportunities to wear those. Looks so good. It totally is squishy. It's not actually slimy. Like, it's dry in real life, but it's made of silicone, so it's, like, rubbery, and it has this, like, wet-looking surface to it. I was squishing it, it's it really the whole neat. time I was here. I yeah, was like, she got to squish great. it. I was just like... <laughs> Like that one, you see how it's over the white? Mm -hmm. You can probably snip that one. Okay, I'll let it get away from, I'll get the, let yeah. the machine and kind of move away from that section and then snip it. Yeah, because I don't want that to get trapped underneath the border for the next one. Um, shelf, yeah, I could try. It's the digitizing process, it's kind of boring. <laughs> but if you want to watch it, I can definitely just add it to my, my list to do because it's one of those that it's the most tedious part of the embroidery process is the digitizing because it th that's the point where i'm like okay do i really need to stitch there or do i need the triple stitch because sometimes the embroidery software is kind of stupid and it just decides to stitch like three times over the same thing i'm like why are you doing that let me go in there and physically take three stitches out so but yeah um, I got two squid questions here. Uh, Kitten is asking, can I wear this, this squid cosplay to other cons? Um, yes, I can. I can wear it, um, I can wear it as much as I want. The only thing is that the props that I wore, oh. Uh oh see, that was a problem. Yeah. All right, so the, the thread came undone, so now you're just going to go up. Ugh, stop it. Okay. Take that, and then you can re-hoop. And then I'll show you, because this is a, Technical thing that just happened now. Oh, there's probably. a little extra. Yeah, there's a little extra we have step. To, we have to rewind in as far as it knows. Yeah, so usually I go about 10, 10 stitches back. Um, even if it only if it messed up three stitches, I still go 10 and 10, um, 10 back. That's my default. So, all right. Well, glad that you know and that we caught it immediately. Yes, cat chance. I love Nico Nee. Sorry, we'll go back. <laughs> we'll go back to. Um, Oh, did we get some? Oh, it was automated by Nightbot. Okay, sorry, sorry, Nightbot is overzealous with erasing messages. Uh, I will go back to those questions in our my train of thought that I just abandoned in order to fix this. But give us a second. Was that an Aries noise? Yes, it was. It was Kitty Cat. Aries, are you are you gonna join us? Come join Cat. Okay. So now this is once again threaded properly. Okay. Got it going. Yeah. Okay. So right here, you're going to um, adjust. You get to use my stylus. Yes, use your stylus. Oh, so stylus. fancy. Just. So you're going to do the little minus plus. plus minus. Yep. You're going to go back. I have five, six. Keep going. Oh, no, no, no. <gasps> oh. You're fine. I just Yeah, you do. it's fine. We'll just have to find out where you were. Technical difficulties! I pressed the wrong thing. It's I'm okay. sorry. Link fan, welcome to the stream and donated $20. That's so kind of you. Awesome. Uh, sorry, I just got it's majorly fine. distracted. She she went she went back for color, not stitches. So I have I to fix it. Thing. It's okay. So right now I'm trying to figure out where she left off. <laughs> so we've got those going. Where's my boy? I have no idea. Oops. All right. Well, he'll appear if he wants to appear, and then I will continue to to answer squid questions and all of that. So it's a kind of like pantomiming. Yeah, it's yours goes a little kind of slow, but I I will. Sorry. No, you're fine. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out where you left off. So we did that wing. Mm -hmm. that, that one. one. Looks like we're almost there. Yep. That one. Okay, we did that one. Oh my gosh. Work with me. So right now the machine is kind of walking through all of the stitching that yeah. it's already done before it got to the point where it got messed up. And really it didn't, it just became unthreaded. If, if you guys missed that, it was just the thread came out of the needle. Okay. Okay. So now we are back to where we were. <laughs> this is like yeah. out and hella long. Okay. And then now. So put you put thread, foot, down, foot down. Yep. Hit the 
green. All right, hopefully we're... I'll do a couple and then stop it. And okay. Cut. Yeah. Cool. All right, there we go. We should be back in business, ready to roll. All right, uh, let's check. Let's see what we currently have in questions and stuff. Oh, Jared was wearing a foam hat uh, for the squid thing. Yeah. Okay, I had several qu squid questions, which were number one: Am I allowed to wear that elsewhere? Yes, I can wear it elsewhere, but I don't own my own props. Nintendo um, purchased the props from someone else. And so I have recently commissioned a set of props from another one of my friends. So I have props coming to me, and once those props are done, then I'll be re-wearing re the whole costume with the new props that belong to me, and uh, probably gonna bring that to Dragon Con. We'll see. Alright, so we have a question. I just lost it or was it? Oh, uh, go down. There it is. Um, oh, she has a, um, if Ash asks, does this occur often? Um, Oh, this is an off record. I read it wrong. Okay. Oh, this is an off record. Let me read it back up. Oh, um, uh, uh, uh. What okay. happened? See, I know noises, and I know when something is wrong. <laughs> okay. It came unthreaded again. Yeah, it did. Is this, uh... It's because it's tight. I feel it. It's not yeah. going in there somewhere. Yeah. So, okay. okay. So, just re-thread it. Right. Uh, do you think take this it, off? Okay. Yeah, let's take that off. Yeah. <laughs> Rethreading. It this got unthreaded again. So usually I don't use the little stoppers. I don't know what they're called, but I don't know what they're called either. Yeah, I'm just gonna little stoppers for the um, the thread. Uh, because it tends to wrap or it tends to change the the pull tension for when it's embroidering. So, okay. All right, so now you're, okay. This one, the needle. <laughs> the needle, okay. Now, back with the minus or plus? You're gonna go back minus needle. Yes, you're gonna go like, hit it a few more times. There you go. We good? Yep. Okay. Now you get to- Put the foot down. Yep. If it does it again, we need to check the bobbin. It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna. It's like underneath the foot. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Another foot down and going. Okay, let me zoom here. Thank you, Travelsome. You're wonderful. Uh, so this machine is the uh, Brother SE400, but like we've said before, this is just an entry-level machine. It has the capability of doing simple patches and small stuff like this, um, but is not one of the uh, higher-end machines that she has. I have a tank. <laughs> That's really what I call it. <laughs> Right, because it looks like it's it's feeding really well right yeah. now. So hopefully that won't, won't give us any more problems. Uh, Killer Cactus is asking about your digitizing software one yeah. more time. So I use the uh, PE Design 10. Um, that's like the newest version, I think, from Brother. Um, but you can use any digitizing software. There's free ones out there on Google that if you just want to do like a small patch, that works as well. So they're limited sometimes, the free ones, but they get the job done. I started out on free ones. Cool. So who's the other person with Heidi? Hi, I'm Patricia. That's right. <laughs> I also go by Chaotri on the social medias, um, <laughs> so. <laughs> um, yes, this is a computerized machine. Um, you give it a pattern. It is a little bit more complicated than just putting a pattern in that it goes, and she talked a little bit about that, but there is 
there's quite a bit that goes into the digitizing process to get it prepared. Um, like you kind of break it down into layers based on color and then within there you have to determine like the orientation of stitching and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Hello, uh, Fair Facade Syndrome. Thanks for coming to the stream. And also Pink Girl. Welcome, Pink Girl. Are we still good? Yeah, we're good. Okay. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm all, like sometimes those noises, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, my machines, like I know, like I have two machines and they, each one of them has their own noise and I can tell which one is messed up. I'm like, these are my children. <laughs> just instantly react. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like in the living room playing Diablo and I'm like, hold up. One, one of them messed up. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm really excited to see this coming out now with the the nice stitching borders and yeah. everything, especially if we're comparing this to the original patch. And we'll show them up close at the end, like the patch that, that I had versus the one that we're making today. But this one has a much thinner and more simpler black border. And like I said, it's just not as crisp looking overall. Like the, the shapes are kind of like round and mushy. <laughs> Um, so Killer Cactus asked me, what is your other machine? So I have a brother, um, I have a single needle, which is a brother machine, and that's the dream machine. And then I have a 10 needle machine that does my beautiful jackets, my embroidery jackets. So that's usually what does like all the nice patches that I, that I do on my store. So like for the little stuff, like little patches like this, I'll use the single needle, but for the bigger, more intricate stuff, I use the 10 needle. Um, let's see, Fair, Fade, Fair Facade Syndrome says it, it, it kind of looks like you got stung by a bee. I'm referring to this one, that's really funny. <laughs> that is, it's poop, it, yeah. it's a little puffy. Yeah, it's just that satin stitch. <laughs> um, okay, Ferocious Intentions is asking, so is the computer plugged into the machine? Yes, yes. it is, but you could also do it with a transfer of a USB, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. Um, this particular embroider machine did not have a USB. That's right, probably so, just because it's a, like yeah, a lower. Um, but mine at home do, so I usually just put it into a little USB and then just all my software is on it. But this one, I just plugged it in. It comes with, every machine comes with a core specifically so you could do that. Okay. Zooming. Oh, what is the fair page it says? Oh my gosh, big girl patches. <laughs> Once you get all the little jump stitches, I think it'll be really nice. I think so. I've been trying to get the, the long, longer ones as they go. Yeah, I usually, like for those, like that I would cut, but for the other ones, I just wait till the very end. Yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing. Okay, some people talked about wanting to see the squid head, so I am gonna get it yes. out. Because we are just kind of letting We're the machine just... roll. Sitting here. So we can be show and tell on the squid head too. Cause yeah, I meant to take a video and you could see the movement in action, but then I just forgot while I was wearing it and now I have to wait till the next time I wear it. All right, and. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's literal girl patches. Yes, it is <laughs> big girl patches. Patches of girls. That's yes, right. these are my big girl patches. Big girls. These are actually commissions that I did for, um, someone they're actually both for someone so yeah I don't know if anybody's seen these but yeah so like I do anime girls for waifus and stuff but yes my anime girls <laughs> Alright, and back. Yes! I'm back with a head in a bag. <laughs> She's got a big trash bag full squid head right here. Yes, life is. <laughs> oh god, this thing is amazing. <laughs> here. Thank you. Set that aside. So this is a squid head. 
Yay! This is the in action. <laughs> it's so squishy. It's so squishy and floppy. It's so glorious. Why is the squid head in a bag? Um, because it's made out of silicone, and so it attracts dust and dirt, and little things get stuck to it because it has this like texture of uh, like hair will get stuck to it. So I know that if I like leave this out in my house, it's gonna get so covered in cat hair that it's just gonna lose all of its shininess. So that's why it stays in a bag. Yeah. Um. Fair, you asked me if I. Oh, I went too fast. Oh yeah, how heavy is it is another uh, question that I get a lot. I have to weigh this so that I'll know entirely, but I mean, I don't know, 10 well, pounds? Yeah, that felt like a good 10 pounds. Maybe <laughs> like 10 pounds, that's yeah. a lot. It's so floopy. That's right, it is very floopy. You can see the whole thing jiggle. It just jiggles it's while you wear so it. It's just so great. I was playing with this Oh I got here. I need to clean it off a little bit, but there you go. There's the squid head. Yay. There's the squishy squid head. I'm not going to put it on right now. So, so Fair, you asked me, um, yeah, sometimes I draw them out, um, or sometimes, uh, sometimes, like, especially with certain clients, so, like, they'll be like, hey, I want this picture, but I want you, like, completely change it. So, at least I have the bare bones of the picture, so I just vector most of them. Girl Scout patches. I was a brownie once. <laughs> nice, me too. Yay! <laughs> yes. And I'm gonna. They ask if you can rinse it off. Um, rinsing it with water, I don't think would do much. You have to use naphtha, and you can use naphtha on like a little rag and use that to wipe it gently in small amounts. And that is what will help to um, get any of the dirt or like little stuff that's stuck to it. So that's what I that's what I did. Um, oh yep, this one got trapped underneath. Somebody said a gallon of milk is eight pounds. <laughs> is it really? I don't know. It feels at <laughs> least it feels at least as heavy as a gallon of milk. I will say that. Something would be an Aries wig. Yes, it would be. It would just be completely covered in Aries hair and it wouldn't even look like anything else anymore. So that's why it's in a bag. That's why it's been set aside. But I had a lot of fun making that and uh, shout out to Holly Conrad again for helping me to mold and cast that because I could not have done it without her. This is my favorite song on this whole playlist. Uh, let's see, Fair asks, what is the worst part of making patches? Is it the smaller detail or, or more of the text? Um, sometimes, like if somebody wants a really detailed design, I can't go too small because you can't well be able to see the details. I have so many questions, you understand? You can ask coming. me. <laughs> All we're doing is watching this run. We're just watching this, I'll answer your questions. Answering your questions. <laughs> Oh, Travel Sun, thank you for the link to Holly. Yes, Holly is the one who, who molded and cast my squid head. Well, there's the worst part, Fair. It's not really detailed or tech. It really just depends on what it is. Like, sometimes I look at a design, I'm like, that's gonna be hard. <laughs> or that's gonna be okay. I don't know. I just have to look at a design. Trying to get it. Oh, I someone. just barely got it before it Bye. ran over itself. Who's heading out? Oh, Vagrant Riot. Yep. It was awesome chatting with you. Uh, always love to meet another Vagrant Story fan, and it's cool that you also know about embroidery. So thanks for stopping by. This was awesome. I was just dancing over here. I'm like, music, music. music. This is the best song to dance to. I would, I would just like put this song on repeat while I'm driving around because it just is, it's adventuring music. Yes. This is what you need. I'm just like trying so hard to catch this thread and nothing else. Ugh, oh, all right. Yeah, this is what takes the longest though. So sometimes I'm kind of used to with my, my, my embroidery machines cutting. What I could have done was made it easier on her and actually went through the entire file and made sure that they didn't overlap any of the stitches. 
But I'm like, <laughs> but she didn't do that. I didn't do that. I'm like, I'm sorry now. She already did something so much. Uh, yes, Rose Whiplash is just joining us. This is Patricia one more time. Hi. Um, she specializes in embroidery work, and she runs a business where she does all of this on commission and also uh, to create custom items. And so she's been teaching me how to do this. Oh, <laughs> I like Widowmaker. <laughs> That's who I like. Um, I don't know, because I've always played snipers. Any video game, I just like sitting in the background, just. <laughs> I'm not good, but it's fun. <laughs> um, Fair, you would contact me through my Etsy store um, if you want any commissions. Uh, if there's a specific design you want me and you have in mind, if it's just a sketch or a picture, you just send it. Uh, with your message and then I can talk with you more about it then. Um, Killer Cactus, it's not. The software on my computer always defaults it now to my 10 needle, but when you put the software into the machine, either one, it'll know, it won't, it'll know which one it's for. You, you only need one file for both machines. Cool. So. <laughs> oh, Jessie asked a question. She, well, not question, but she... Oh, Jessie yeah. says, I noticed the other AOT cosplayers use patches with two shades to the wing. You mean like two different colors of blue, or do you mean just like without the border? I'm not sure what you mean by that, but... Hi, Rose! <laughs> I'm just gonna keep snipping these. I'm just trying to get all the big ones. Yeah, just the ones I... that you, th you like when it does the outside. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think your speed might be like in the 500s. Thanks, Kitten. You're the best. <laughs> Thanks, Rose. But yeah, most of that stuff, um, it's just things like I'll make. I'm like, oh, it's the fandoms that I like, and I'll just throw it into the store. Um, but most of the stuff is commission based, so <laughs> I won't put those on there. <laughs> it's like one time thing. <laughs> I see two shades of blue, which is a dark navy and the blue I'm using. I have not seen any patches like that, but that yeah. sounds really pretty. I wonder yeah. how that looks. But yeah. Cool, cool. I'm very excited to have these patches done because I wasn't very stoked about these when they arrived. I was they're like, so... they're so lumpy and they just look so yeah. different from the other one. But this that we're making is going to be really similar yes. and nice and crisp it looks looking. Really nice. Um, Fair asked me a question. Um, yes, it depends on the size and the detail. Yeah, the, the two patches could be three by three, but the detail and, and also how long it takes as well. Kat said that she's heading to bed. It's almost midnight. Oh my goodness, Kat. <laughs> Kat, thank you for watching us. Bye. We miss you. <laughs> yes, I want to cosplay with you again. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. There's a little fuzzy on there still. Right. Awesome. They like taste of sweet time, like getting back up to speed. Yeah. It starts again. Mine scares me. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, idols, cat chance, idols. <laughs> 
So this has been my chillest stream yet, in terms of me doing literally nothing. This is more of like an interact. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's it's true. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I'm really looking forward to your embroidery streams because they're going to be so much more detailed than what I'm able to show with just like a little project. Yeah. Although this is a good introduction. Oh, yeah, thing. for sure. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, of course. Thank you for joining me here. Hopefully this whole patch will be done before you... I know it's getting a little bit late. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> depending on how long you can stay. Hopefully we can stay through the end of this one oh, patch. Yeah. And then that will probably be our stream. But we're getting there. What time do we start? We started at like... 7.20 yeah. when it was like stitching. Yeah, if you would, yeah, the stopping and then clipping is what takes the longest. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. And the, sti the satin stitching is also just so detailed. It's not surprising yeah. it takes a while to go, but we'll see yeah. how soon it gets everything yeah, else Link done. Yeah, Link Fan, I could not imagine doing this by hand. <laughs> no way. <laughs> this would be just a huge pain in the ass to do by hand. I would find another way. I would paint it or cut little pieces out or something. The voice actresses first before I actually like the character of idols. <laughs> Two Wolf Design, thank you for following. So your favorite your favorite idols are based on yeah, which of the so favorite like, voice actors? Yeah, I usually watch the live concerts and then I love like I instantly love one of the girls. I'm like, okay, I don't even care what the girl like the idol is. I'll just cosplay your character all the time. <laughs> We're almost done with all of the white section outline. Yeah, which okay, is... and this, this has been going for a while. Because yeah. uh, this machine has a lower speed. I think it's probably doing five, six hundred compared to like a thousand, uh, which means like per minute, a thousand stitches per minute. So that one, yeah, you can cut that one. Because now it's going to go on the other side. Yeah. But I, I remember having my single needles where they wouldn't cut, I would have to go in the digitizing program and make sure that I didn't have to snip all the time because that's time like wasted. Yeah. So I would I would spend more time in the digitizer and then just have the machine do its thing. This is fun though. I like just seeing it come together. Yeah, Jesse. Some idols, I'm just like, I just love you. I love your backstory. Like, they're just. Yes, we're talking about idols. <laughs> you just take over the stream with idols. That's idols! <laughs> Let's go, idols, man. <laughs> I've never fallen down into that. You that... know, it's because they have cute outfits. Oh my goodness. And they're so detailed. And the way you see them on the live concerts and. Plus you get to do big cosplay groups. Yeah, and it's so cute seeing like 12 girls like all lined up with a rainbow. I see the appeal, I just yeah. don't want to, I know that once I go, once I'm in, I'll never be out. <laughs> That's why you only stick with one, I have like four. <laughs> You should always cost an idol, Jesse. Don't, don't worry about what other people say. <laughs> Hi, Within One Tiger. Thanks for joining us. Hello. Uh, Sexual Rocket is asking what the machine is. This is the Brother SC400. Mm -hmm. Adam Master is really good. So is Love Life. Idols dance and sing their songs. I would recommend starting with Idol Master and then working your way to Love Live and whatnot. I'm starting to wonder if these patches have a different like dimensions. Does that look to be is that similar to you? Oh, I guess it is yeah. a little bit similar. So I went a little like a slight yeah. smaller on your design That's because fine. of your hoop, That's but fine. it just, fit the hoop. Just checking to see how similar yeah. they were. 
in like the aspect ratio yeah, and all that. Yeah, I think they look pretty similar. They're pretty similar. It looks similar. cleaner. <laughs> it does look cleaner. It looks like it has more, maybe I need to count them, but it looks like it might have more wings. It, it looks good. Okay, so this one, see mm -hmm. how it skipped? That means it's probably over here somewhere. Oh, that it's still coming. Yeah, it's back still coming. It. It'll eventually come over. Yeah. So don't worry about that one right there. I didn't it's even probably notice. in the stitch somewhere when I yeah. threw it in there. Boy Idol cosplay. That sounds cool. Yeah. There probably aren't as many boy designs. Yeah, boy idols. Just boy version. Man, they sing great. Yeah. Some people like Love Live. It just really depends on your fancy. <laughs> more stitches covering it. Jesse, I did make some side M patches for a uh, group for AX. They looked amazing. <laughs> Hi, Camellia Cosplay. Welcome. Now your feet is all idle. <laughs> Is everyone laughing at the sexual rocket name? I like that a lot. It's good. <laughs> that one's okay. You don't have to trim that one. All right, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not going over. Yeah, anything. it's not. No, it's not going over anything. Yeah, we've all just descended into idol hell here in the yes. chat. <laughs> I don't have anything to contribute to this conversation. Yes. <laughs> I personally just like watching the actual concerts. They're my favorite. The idol concerts are the best. <laughs> Anime, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> We'll let that go a little bit. Oh yeah, that one needs to be trimmed. We'll snip it. I'm gonna get two and one. Yes, I am. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> okay. Yay. Ah, uh, see, you can become an idol. <laughs> That's right. Anybody can become. Uh, well, thank you. Uh, I, I don't think I have it in me to be an idol. Maybe I'll be Attack on Titan idol. Yes. That's what I need to be. Yes. Idol version of Hanji. Wait, don't they have a singing group that no name? <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. main colors be as an idol? Uh, that's a good question. Oh, well, I already know the answer to that. Um, wait, do they, wait, do idols have more than one color? Yes. There's what do they have? All the colors. No, what I mean is, like, do they have a color scheme of multiple colors? Like, does one girl have, or, like, two colors, or is she, each girl is one color? So there's, like, passion, cool, uh, like, all the, there's, like, subgroups, for, depending on where you go, but they have, like, with Idol Master, they have, like, from neon you know, green for Mickey and then all the way like black. Right, but it's one color per mm -hmm. girl. Okay, yeah. so I get one color. I would definitely be a purple. Oh, um, Amari. <laughs> where, oh, is that what, is that a name of Amari? Mar yeah, Amari, she's the Love Life Sunshine. And then what do we have, Oz? Oz is that? I would be either, 
either the purple or it'd be the uh, the teal color that's the color on my walls. Oh, look at that. That's Hebe those are my, <laughs> Those are my two, uh, my Atelier Heidi colors, are the purple and the teal. So it would be one of the two. Um, I guess teal is my main color, but both of them look good with my hair, which is why. Yeah, the character I cosplay, it, her, char her color is teal. Nice. So. Nice. I like, yes, I like teal and or purple. That's so, good. I guess I said purple first, but yeah. I don't know. What do you think would be better for me? Sometimes, like, purples, they have um, their blonde character, like, some blondish to reddish hairs, but... Luck Light says... True. Uh, yeah, I caught a Heidi stream, and then you got the pro Jared love. Thank you so much, Luck Light, for the bits. Yay. Appreciate you. What well, idol color is, what am I? Um, <laughs> there's gonna be hot pink for Nico, hibiki teal, or black for Makoto. <laughs> oh, and then silver or gray for Yohane. Yeah, I have too many. <laughs> I usually go with the darker colors because that's what I, I like dark things. And so I usually go tend to go with like the dark idols. I'm trying to think where, do I have like a swatch of my color? Maybe that, um, maybe the color of my curtains, they look really dark, yeah. but they're, they're lighter in person. Um, I'm trying to think, where's my color? What would my color be? Uh, <laughs> it would be like a medium purple, um, more on the blue side than red, because purple is reddish or bluish. It'd be more of a bluish purple than a reddish purple, but it would be kind of like, still in between. Um, like a medium purple. I think that's that's what would be my my idol Heidi color. I'm gonna get this other. <laughs> Someone draw back. idol Heidi fan art. Oh, yes, I please. assumed that they already were. I was like, that's what I want to know is because yes. they're doing art. I can't get that one right now. It's fine. I mean, obviously you're not obligated to do any idol art, but that's. I'm just assuming it's already happening. <laughs> Like, I'm on it. Soon is like, I'm doing it right now. Twitch purple? Yeah, it would be maybe yeah. around about Twitch purple. Twitch purple is a good purple. It's a little bit darker than I think maybe, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, I tend to like, with. I usually tend to go with the darker ones. Nico, the only reason I like. Sorry. I put, you're fine. I don't like pink, but the only reason I like Nico from Love Live is because. Her voice actress is so adorable. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> that's it. I don't like pink, but that's the only reason I'll cosplay her. There we go. All right. Now I can feel satisfied. This is gonna look clean when I Yay! pull it out. Yay! Excite. It looks so good already. And then once you really clean it up. Can you get high on dank anime? That's a good question. I would say yes, you can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you guys are not obligated to do any kind of idol art. <laughs> but it's fun to talk about. It is fun to talk about. Yes. Because well, all of the idol outfits have different themes, right? Yes. They have, like... So I just did the Sukuyomi from Idol Master with my friend uh, Samantha. You can see it on my IG. Um, so it's it kind of reminds me of Ninja <laughs> meets Idol. <laughs> so that's my favorite so far. I was Hibiki, and it's still one of my favorite. It's it was a good two weeks of sewing, and it was it's a lot of intricate stuff in that costume. So just watching it go. idol theme be? Soft, cutie, lacy, rocker? Uh, I like rocker. <laughs> That's usually where I go to. Can we be goth idols? Yes. Does that exist? I hope. Yeah, they do actually. I want to be a goth idol. That's Ronco what I from Idol uh, uh, Cinderella Girls. She's uh, she's very gothic. She's gothic Lolita, but nice. I'm fine with that. She's one of. She's actually one of my faves on that one. So. Thing is so fancy. I yeah, like them. They're not that expensive. They're they're on Amazon, like ten dollars. Not even that. Oh, 
um, Jesse, how did I get my handle? Well, Kayatri is actually my nieces and my name together. Her name is Kaylin, K-A-E, and then Patricia. Merge the two together. Kayatri was born. <laughs> Weed idol? Yeah, that sounds like me. We'd be weed themed idols. <laughs> Dark teal, light teal, light teal color. Those are my, my idol. The <laughs> weed idol. <laughs> yeah, I've used Kaotri for many, many years. Um, and I think the first time I actually came up with it was playing The Sims. I was like, my Sim has found a star. What would you like to name it? I was like, Kaotri. <laughs> And the counter was born. <laughs> Sorry, I'm probably being like way over obsessive about cutting all of these things, but the reason why I want to do them is because they're stretched over mm -hmm. the other blue panels. Yeah. So I don't want them to get stitched down on top of those yeah, panels. Yeah, those you would want to, but there's some that you can kind of leave to clean up later. Okay. Oh, you have four colors? Yeah, I have gray, black, teal, and um, hot pink. That's a lot. Those okay. are those are my my idol colors. I guess Franco, she doesn't really have a color. Well, she does, but she's more like I forgot which one she was. Um, my idol colors are. <laughs> I'm all like dark, and then you got like hot pink <laughs> on the side. <laughs> uh, purple, teal. I need to have some kind of like goldish okay. color, like or something that matches my hair. That's more like an orangey gold kind of thing. Well, there's there are orange idols. Yeah, I'm just thinking about the whole color scheme together. <laughs> um, and then, so it's a good triad right there. And then I need. To... It's so much. Dark teal, so light much. teal. Um, Dark it's teal. light teal for me. Oh, I'm sorry, light teal for both of us. Yeah. It's... <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> These were purple, yes. It's just so little. It's just, it's always so close. They're so close to each other. Yeah. We're getting really close to being done with this patch, though. That's all of the, almost all of the, the blue sections have now been outlined. Yeah, and then once that's done, it's going to do the outside. Mm -hmm. We're getting there, we're getting close. I, I think the same teal is fine. <laughs> we don't need to be separate teal. Yeah. Totally Yay! not a bot. Thanks for following. <laughs> Oh, and also Lil Link. Sorry, yeah. I read those out of yeah. order because I got them on my thing out of order. Lil Link, thanks for following. This one's like I'm getting stitched down right now. <gasps> Army of Ancients donated $10. Thank you so much. Yay. That's so kind of you. It says, going to bed soon, but cool tutorial tonight. Thank you. Oh, what does it say? Yeah, thank you both. Awesome. Thank you so much, Army of Ancients. That was kind of you. All right. This is now down. If what that might have to get stitched, clipped a little bit later. Oh, oh, oh. the thing nope. came up. <laughs> okay. So now you're gonna lift up the foot, and you're gonna lift, lift up the needle. Can I do it right here? Right here. That's better. It's auto. Yeah. Okay. It's auto. Yeah. So what it's doing right now, I think. The I probably just might clipped it too close now. to um, when I clipped it right then. Maybe I grabbed the wrong yeah. thread and clipped it because that's that came out immediately after I did the clip. Hey Mo. So that's probably my fault. Moco. Makona, hi. I'm terrible at names. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I like I abbreviate. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm terrible at names too. They just hey, you they said, all forgive me. You said my my name right the first. I never had to tell you how to say it. <laughs> well, I'm glad that I said it yeah. right. I have my moments. It was amazing. I was like, oh my gosh, you said my name right. So now we need to back this up, back that uh, thing it up. It didn't go too far, so yeah, you just, there you go, so you're good. You're good to go. Okay. Now I've got plenty of tail. I got hella tail. I always get hella tail. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me just apologize to all of you right now. <laughs> Uh, 
it in there. I'll trim that a little bit closer yeah. later, probably. There we go. So we've still got that one white space that we hope are, is gonna hope is gonna get filled in it later. It should. Says Anna says there needs to be an Asago DLC where Hana can date Heidi instead of the boys. Oh yeah, there was supposed to be a Hana uh, in my route, but there wasn't enough funding. It was like a stretch goal in the Kickstarter, and they didn't get to that. Which is fine, because, you know, they're both original characters, and the game was supposed to be about the um, the characters that are based on the normal Boots guys, but then Mai was so such a great character oh. that everybody wanted to date her. Did it again. Yeah, I don't know why I don't it's... know why it's doing that. Well, we'll just keep re-threading as we have to. Yeah, it's but... not... Sometimes certain embroidery machines just, every so often, a little stitch it doesn't yeah. work too well. Hello, fly. Yeah, that fly won't leave us alone. <laughs> okay, do we need to back it up at all? Um, just a couple. Oh. Oh, that's okay. It's doing just like a little black section right there. Yeah. That's fine. That's for the little piece. You can cut the tail off. Okay. And I'm saying it like created a little section there. It's totally fine. I'll show it to you in a second. Okay. We can it's always like take that. section. See, oh. it like treats it like a new section. Yeah, it should have. No. Why is I'm it? curious to. Oh, I guess it's just beginning the border on the rest yeah. of it. Yeah. All right, well, let's just keep Why watching and seeing and how it goes. Let me look and make sure where this one goes. Because yeah. Because it should have already. Hopefully, we didn't like accidentally miss that during the time where we were like rewinding Probably. the stitches. I'm like, mm. if we need to, we can always just go back before we unhoop it. Okay. There's a lot of little ones because it's underneath the thing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get that at the end, at least for now. Unless yeah. it starts going over itself. Yeah. And I'll just All right, like it is now. Here. Oh, it's fine. Jesse Highland is asking, how is Jared's last name pronounced? It's pronounced Knabenbauer. You say the K and the N separately. <laughs> they're all just overlapping each other a lot. some additional loose threads to snip, but I got what we're currently going. Okay, and it's still stitching. It seems like it's getting caught a little bit more yeah, in this section. It Just because it's so tight. Yeah. All right. Uh, what color shirt am I wearing currently? It's like a gray, silvery sweater. Travel Sam, are you doing stream art? <laughs> Thank you, Travelsome. I hate that it's just going over it, over all these Yeah, you can actually separate. just, it's because it's doing these right here, these lines. Yeah, I figured. And your machine might be like, I don't like this. <laughs> I think it's a little bit, almost a little bit too much on top of each other. Yeah. You know, you can just stop it and then keep, and move it forward a little bit. If that's um, I mean, with six of these, I really wanted to just go, just let it be automated. Um, although what I, I might do, um, I will be is watching fix the them. file for you, <laughs> so you won't have to worry about the jumping so much. That's up to you whether or not you want to take the time that, to do that. It's not that hard. Okay, 
I'm gonna worry about fixing other stuff later. I need to find... just... There it goes. That's weird. It just did this. It stitched like several times in this spot. That's weird. Yeah, so the, the last stitch is um is because I didn't look this is what happens when you don't look through it. Okay, so let me feel free to make changes if you want to. I'm not I worried about it. I'm just gonna let it roll. I did change most of it. the little stitches. I could see all the little tiny ones, but the thing is if you don't have those in there. And it looks odd. Yeah, because there's and nothing to like go flat. That is totally okay. Um, do you know whether or not this one... Yes, it's the very last one. Perfect. Okay, cool. So we have at least I just, confirmed that I just looked. I'm like, okay, it's great. the very last one. Cool. So that is... It has been accounted for. That's all that matters. Is that it's going to be on its way. Yeah, I think it's done with all the little tiny bits in the center. Oh, uh, this is Patricia here, Hi. who is with me. Char is asking. Okay, so we are underway with this correct stitching. So it looks like on the outline, it's not going to be the tight satin stitch in the same way. It's going it's, in vertical. No, it's. Um, is it just setting up for so, that? So yeah. So what it does is it goes back and forth to give it because it's the outside. It needs to give it some something to hold on to. Cool. Because so you like are going to see so right now. It's doing it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's just going. It's kind of giving like something to wrap around, yeah. kind of. Okay, that's awesome. So we're nearly there. It's already. Let's see. 9.12, so this is almost two hours of embroidering, mm -hmm. which is cool. It's fine with me. Not too bad. Yeah, I'll just have to, I'll probably have the rest of these patches Pressure. running while I'm out and about doing other things here in my shop, so I'll have something else going on and then just let this be running. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that way you can, you won't have to look at it, I can always just fix the file, that way the jumping won't be an issue. Yeah. I'm sure. really clean and pretty on that border though. I really do like the, the satin stitch on the black. It looks really nice. Yeah. Thanks, Rose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like all those little jump things, yeah, you'll be able to clean it up. Diablo, oh my gosh, I didn't it's, even realize what that Diablo Winston. 3 is. <laughs> That's so cute. Ah, I love that place, especially because now the new ones, they have like better like drops and stuff. <laughs> now that I'm like Paragon Brazilian <laughs> for the new season, <laughs> I was playing too much for the last three days, okay? <laughs> Yeah, I like the Moogles too. Uh, Luck Light was complimenting your oh, Moogle patches. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so there's, I have brought one. Ooh. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got him. I just you got, got him? I just got our fly. Yay. There he is. I got him on a ruler. <laughs> this is number two. Kill count is now at two. Not for this stream, just one for this stream. I, I, I killed another one during another stream. You should have like a check mark like, on the back. Yes. Like, killed this one. <laughs> oh, can't do the whole nasty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> murder! Yay, murder! <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Heidi two, Jared zero. Everyone's like this. Yes. Celebrating with that tap tap emote. <laughs> you know it. Oh, that's funny. Uh, it looks 
looks really nice. Yeah, it does. It's really pretty. Yeah, once you clean it up, like right now it's like, oh, it's just so many stitching up. But once you clean it up, it'll look really nice. Get some of these big ones that are going across. Make sure, yeah, I'll, there's a couple little loose threads that are still on the surface here that will be dealt with. Probably at the end. Okay. Continuing, we're almost there. We're just working on the rest of this border. <laughs> yes, Ken just clipped my second um, kill here, savagely killing the fly. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I am a ruthless killer. So, Fly killer. sorry. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There's just like a lot this time of year. Like, we'll open the door for like five seconds and one will fly in and it, they're huge. So, I, I try to dispose of them by, or not dispose of them, I try to let them outside whenever I can because a lot of the time they'll hang out by the door and when I go out and I'll let them out. But that fly has been in here all day. Hi, Marissa. Hello. Huh. It looks like that black is overlapping the white slightly. Which one? This one. Oh, okay. It's going to fill it in. So it's, yeah. it's going to So dry. remember when I said I gave it enough slack? Mm -hmm. that's, so, that's what it is. Okay. So, the so that, way, that way a little bit of the overlap, because you don't want that to be a gap. Right. So you want it to be underneath the black. Cool. Yeah. The way it started, it just looked like it was almost like misaligned, but it's totally fine. Yeah. yeah. No, Marissa, you didn't miss much. We're just doing the uh, patch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this has been pretty much an automated stream today. We were just hanging out and answering yeah. questions while it rolls along. So, I mean, aside from just letting the machine go, you haven't missed much. So my best tip for sewing a flannel? I don't have any flannel sewing tips. Do you have any sewing flannel um, sewing tips? Use really good stabilizer. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I yes. like to use Google anytime I'm working with unfamiliar materials. I have not worked with flannel. Yeah, I usually just use the tearaway stabilizer because that gives a little bit more st stability. Um, Camellia Cosplay is asking how it felt to wear the inkling hair all day. It was very heavy and it made my neck hurt, but I got my neck strength up <laughs> by the end of the day. I leveled up. That's right. Oh, Marissa, thank you for following. Sorry, Tiffy, I don't have any expertise in that department to offer you, or I would. I'm gonna get this one because I see that it's stretched across what will become the last section. Yeah. Border. That's going all the way up here. A waterproof patch. Um, <laughs> well, you're gonna. I don't even know that question. I mean, I mean are patches not waterproof already? Like, are they, they going to get messed up? Well, I guess if you sew them onto a waterproof material, I mean, that way it will just not be like one of these where it's like the twill. But yeah, I mean, they are technically waterproof. She showed these earlier on the stream, but while we're just hanging out, here's some of the other ones that she's done. And so these have different background fabrics. This yeah. is like on twill. And so she said that she just tries to clip it really close and then get it with a uh, fray check so that the edges yeah. don't fray. So you fray check first and then cut. Okay. Yeah. Oh, spray coating for a leather shoe? That could potentially work. That could. Yeah, that could work. Might have to try that first. <laughs> gonna let it go and try not to get upset about the little ones because <laughs> those are just gonna have to be pulled out at the end probably yeah yes yeah, so these are pretty awesome the various little love live right yeah love live got 
the Moogle. This one, the Moogle, so cute, so cute. I like the gold thread a lot. Yeah, I, uh, I was given my. Oh, Elvin Daydreams, thank you for following. Scotch got it to death. Ah! <laughs> What's this one from? Um, Idolmaster. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Is that, is that too much? Should I cut some of those? Um, you can always just do it at the end. All right. Yeah, it's... I want to make sure none of them are covering that one. It'll be at the very end. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, guys. It'll be fine. I sometimes just let it do its thing at the end. I'm like, all right, I'm just going to go in there and cut with a really sharp scissors. Yeah. These anime girls are the most impressive because they're so big. They're so big. That one is seven inches? No, wait. Yes. So you've got this on felt, it looks like, the yes. white in the background, and then there's also like a decorative stitch. That's, that's... uh, stipling? Yes, that's what it's called, stipling. I think I'm saying that right. Um, but that's also it's stippling, but stippling? It, I guess it depends uh, you know, on what stippling? it is. I don't know. But yes, that's also something in the background as well. And then this one is the super big one. That's See, my this is joy. insane, yeah. <laughs> That's my part and joy. <laughs> this is also on felt with a stabilizer Actually, on the no, back. this one is not on felt. Oh, it is on felt, yes. Okay, this is a different stabilizer. Yes, uh, since that one, I had to use the more heavy duty because it, it was, a, her hair was just massive. Um, so lot. I used a little bit more. Thank you, Camellia. I love my patches. Yeah, the, the cat patch with the girl, it's from an anime. I think it's called Cat and Girl. <laughs> 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 it's, like, it's the point of view from a cat. That's so cute. I have not watched that, but I need to, apparently. Yeah. There we go. Anyway, we're getting close to the end here. We're at 920. So that's yeah, that's a lot of jumping, but you'll need to cut through. It's all those little tiny sections. Yeah. It's gonna be annoying. Yeah, these patches are really cool. Um, most people can't do this, even cosplayers. Like, this is a very specialized thing that you are doing here, especially for the size and the scale of everything. Like, it's kind of rare for people to do this much embroidery, um, unless it's something that you're totally specialized in, which is exactly what, what Patricia does. So I'm really glad that I have you here to, to walk me through this, because this is Yay! a lot of new information for me. Yeah, yeah. I really enjoy that one. embroidering. I won't let this get... This is the one that I wanted to get down here before it ends up getting its own border at the end. Okay, sorry. Oh, you're fine. Zooming. Okay. Oh, yes, kitten, have a good Bye. night. Thanks for coming to the stream and taking care of us. Yes, and everything. Thank you're you awesome. So much. Travelsome has some art for us, it looks oh. like. This link. Oh, oh, that's so cute! That is really cute. <laughs> oh, thank you for drawing Patricia, too. That is adorable. Yeah, I retweeted it so I can actually... <laughs> so cute. You got me with my glasses this time. Oh, that's I love so it. cute. has a question about um, do you have any specific restrictions on your commissions like you won't do copyrighted um, things? Sometimes. I won't do Disney. I, I will not do Disney or Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
no. <laughs> um, but like if you ask, like if, if you grab a picture from say someone that drew it, just ask their permission and ask them to, if, if I could embroider that design into an embroidery. And I will also, if you send me their link, I will go and ask them as well. Cause I want to make sure everybody gets credited. I don't want to take. So if you're doing like original art. Exactly. Like if somebody wants an art, they're like, I want this embroidery. I'm like, well, I need to ask the person that made it. Oh, well, I guess jumps right over. I'm not gonna try to get the rest from right now. I just wanted yeah. to get the ones that were just, on top yeah, of the area. Yeah, the long ones. Yeah. Oh, look, it's doing the. That's the last one. It's the last one. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, we're almost there. <laughs> that's the last one. We're gonna bring one. this out of the machine in just a minute. <laughs> All right, everybody fingers crossed that we don't have any other uh, issues here. <laughs> Travel some, you finally drew someone other than Heidi, LOL. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I ever get one of, like, a sea services, like... Yeah, you have to respect that. I will respect it 100%, like, no problem. I think that for the most part, um, most companies that I've seen don't really care so much about one-off. There it is. <laughs> Finish sewing, awesome. Finish sewing. Now you can actually go clean there yeah. and clean it up. It's more about like the mass producing is yeah. if you're offering like a mass produced product based exactly. on their IP, that's an issue. A lot of people will overlook like a, a single one-off one because one mm -hmm. you're not continuing yeah. to market and continuing exactly. to, to get money off of that. So, all right. all right, here's what it looks like. We need to cut a lot of these like threads that are stretched across it looks the surface. already better than the one that came with it. It looks so much better, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, this is gonna look super nice. And you know what? I, I think it looks wonderful without any sort of gray background. It looks really great as it is already, so. So I think that we did a great like, job. Yeah, I think it came out really well. All right, so I'm gonna snip all of these and then we will show off and compare the two patches. The one that we made versus the one that we bought. It looked like it looked like I got stung by a bee. <laughs> oh my god, I love this thing. It's so cute. The little art. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Travelsome makes such good art. It's so cute. I love all the cute little things that Travelsome draws for us. Thank you, as always, Travelsome, for donating your time and your art to our stream. And they were like, there it is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm going to actually go ahead and unhoop this if that's Oh, fine. yeah, you can unhoop oh. it. You can also just, it'll be easier, too, just to, like, the yeah, most satisfying thing is to rip the back. Okay. Yeah, the, it's All right. Like, no, just pull it. Yeah. The whole thing, yeah, the yeah. whole thing, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that is so satisfying. <laughs> oh, so it just completely just yeah. separates. And so you keep it on the main part? Yeah. No, you just you Can just, it rip all of it out? Yeah, just rip all of it off. You don't need it anymore. <laughs> no, I mean like oh. in here, am oh, I yeah, trying to I peel that off? It. You just leave it. Yeah, okay. because that kind of gives it a little more, more stability. More body, yeah. Yeah. Totally. Okay. Yeah. Boom, over the shoulder. <laughs> over the I'm shoulder. Like, I don't even do that Legit in my house. Legit kicks, thanks for following. <laughs> Here in my house, everything is the trash can. <laughs> I say with pride in my voice. Okay, um, good to know how the specific idea. Yes, Travis. It's so cute. <laughs> I love art. I yes. love it when people draw art. Okay, so we're almost there. We're so close. Yes. We're just going to snip these and then do the last. Right? I was, I was like, I just want to rip it. <laughs> She's like the look in her eyes. I was like, oh, it's so satisfying, especially when I have like a humongous embroidery. I'm just like, 
oh, I just rip it right off. It's the greatest thing. It's the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> that moment when you realized there was actual music playing. In the <laughs> yes, yeah, there sorry. was. Yes, there was. It's on a lower volume, but we just got so much. <laughs> There's so much noise tonight. There's two people talking, plus the embroidery machine. I mean, if you guys watch my streams, I might have to put the mic like away from my the humongous tank I have. It's pretty loud. You could get like a little mic that clips onto you, maybe. Yeah, maybe. And that way, it's only taking up the my my yeah yeah I could do that. I mean, ideally, I don't yeah. think I have to figure out the right connections for that, but. Okay, we're almost there. I'm clipping the last little guys. I'm probably gonna take some time to like clean this up a little bit more too, because I know that there's some little tiny connectors that I missed, but there it is. Yay! There's the gist of it. Oh yeah. So like we mentioned earlier, the colors don't quite match the, the reference, but they do match the other patch, which is the main thing that we wanted. That's yes. why we decided to do this. So these now are the two matching patches, um, those big ones that I bought and now the small ones that I'm gonna make some more of. And then we can compare this nice patch that we made today compared to the bloated patch. I don't like that one. I don't like it either. I'm so glad we redid this. I don't like that one. Because <laughs> the bloated patch is just, it's mushy looking. It doesn't have the clean lines. It doesn't have the same color. And so now we have the matching patches. Bye, Tiffy. Have a Matching good night. Matching patches for the jackets. <laughs> and then, no, fake trash patch. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, bye, Tiffy. Thanks for joining us. I know it's getting late, but that's about it. Now, do we need to do anything else to this patch to get it ready for attaching to the pole? All right, so once you are done clipping and everything, you also, if you would like, this is just an extra step I do, just because since I am selling and do commissions for it, it's the back. Uh -huh. See how it looks? Oh, I can't do. I can't yeah. do camera. <laughs> there it is. See all the little like jump thread and jump stitches that's going on. You can just trim all those off, just so it'll look clean. And that way, if you're gonna attach it to, um, like if you want to do heat and bond or if you're gonna put velcro, it just looks nice. Mm -hmm. And that way, it's yeah, mm -hmm. the beasting patch. Yes, that I like it. You delete the patch and then totally rad patch. Awesome use of the emote. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Thank you, beasting patch. So, okay, so you would say clean up the back. Yeah, clean up the back, and then what you'll do after you do that, you can just put, um, uh, Felt doesn't need fray check, but other materials I, need fray check. I always do fray check anyway, because when you're cutting and you accidentally snip the stitching right It just right kind here, of holds it It holds better. it in place, okay. just in case. That I do it regardless. Sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, felt doesn't fray, but no. it, the fray check just adds stability, so yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's about it for tonight. Um, I'm going to do five more of these in my own time. <laughs> uh, and you'll hear back on that, I'm sure. I'll post my little army of patches once I've got them done. Yeah. But I am so excited to have that. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah. All right. And it only took us like two hours and some. So that wasn't too bad. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, I think that the, the other ones, when I'm less picky about cutting every little jump stitch, I think it'll look a lot better. <laughs> Anyway, um, that's about it. I guess we're going to sign off now. Um, before we leave, I wanted to give another shout out to uh, Patricia and her channel. So um, I'm going to post that link again. I think I've still got it in my... Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, um, if... Well, I guess... If it's still in here, I'm just going to type it. Twitch.tv slash... Kayatri. A-T-R-I. That's it? Yep. Twitch.tv slash Kayatri. Okay. So there is, I just posted a link to hers. Oh, Travelsome's on it. Oh my. Travelsome's got it. You got links there to her channel, <laughs> to her <laughs> Twitter, <laughs> and also to her um, her shop on Etsy yeah. where you can get any kind of, um, any of this embroidery commissions or pre-made yep. works that she's done. So if you need any help with like cosplay stuff that you're like, oh, I really need this patch for cosplay or anything, you just can't find it. Or yeah. if you bought a costume and you're like, the patch doesn't look up to par, you could just send it my way. That's awesome. Like this girl, she knows it. She knows. She's got it. <laughs> um, let's see. So we we put, we linked your channel. Anything else we missed? Um, 
Any other questions before we sign off? Like... If you have any more questions, <laughs> uh, you can also uh, message her on Twitter. Yeah, yeah you can just mes actually just message me on Twitter. It's a lot yeah. faster, too. I can just ask my sister. So. Cool. All right. Well, that's yeah. about it. I'm going to switch over now, and we're going to... We're gonna end the stream, but thank you guys so much for coming. And my next stream, I think I'm gonna do a stream tomorrow uh, afternoon or evening. You're Kiatri everywhere, right? I am Kiatri everywhere. Instagram, yeah. Facebook, all the all Twitter. That, yeah, everything. so it's the same handle. It's, just, it's easy <laughs> to find, and then you can just follow those links uh, to find her. Yes, and Trav, see all of her. Instagram is Kiatri as well. <laughs> yeah, all the wonderful um, embroidery stuff that she yeah. posts. So, all right, thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha